And we're back. And yes, apparently we are in research. Wasn't quite uh, sure where we had actually gotten to. Um, we're playing a flat, fast and loose run, uh, looking for heavies. Uh, we have a lot of heavy dreads. Wow. Uh, we've had to rebuild like multiple times. I think we've we've gone naked twice this run so far. Once because we fell into a chute, and the other time because we were getting uh, uh, beat to hell. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, hey, Chris Elmich, forgot Kids Stream, the sequel is going to happen tonight. Yeah, we get, again, two streams this week, because uh, it's two streams in the same week, I uh, ended up uh, starting a little later again today. Not too much later than, uh, which is good, I thought it was going to end up even later, but yeah, I went out to get a little exercise this morning. Um, nice weather out, and I had to get back and uh, get showered and do all that other stuff uh, before I could start. So... Um, we are ready to continue this run. It's pro I, I didn't expect this run to probably take the full amount of time anyway. We already did. Well, we went straight, that's why. But I was going to say, we already got really far for a single uh, run, or a single stream last week. And we're not in great shape. And we're fighting heavies. I am actually playing a new version, which was just released uh, for patrons uh, last night. Uh, I put together a version which has some fixes. You can see it down there at the bottom, uh, 729A. Uh, this is the new version. But the saves are compatible. So we're running on the, uh, this is the same save. All I did was change some stuff in executable and executable. And they also the, um, <clears throat> um, what was it? A couple of uh, bot things. I think it was just the drones. Drones aren't hackable now. Oh, the, sir, the rest of the drones aren't. Most of the drones were already not hackable, but it turns out that, yeah, there was a bug that you could... Uh, I forgot to change some of the other drone class bots so that they couldn't be uh, hackable by programmers, which was always meant to be the case, but I yeah, forgot to set them because they were not together with the other drones in the data file, so... They didn't get set at the same time when I was uh, redoing the uh, hacking system, and it turns out some people were able to get enemy drones reprogrammed, and that caused all manner of chaos. <laughs> so... We're back looking for heavies. I did make some heavy adjustments as well. Uh, they will no longer uh, uh, detect you when you're slightly out of range in certain places. Uh, it was possible before, even though I thought I'd gotten rid of all those cases. But now you have to be within this circle, uh, and even within the circle a little bit usually. So a couple other little fixes in there. But uh, again, it's the same branch as before. Chaos, like, oh, I don't remember all the chaos, like, uh, like uh, Vectus. Uh, being able to hack a or get a spotter ally, which would then start spotting things and raising his alert. Uh, <laughs> uh, even though it's like an ally, I mean, they were never meant to ever be on the other side. So, or on your side, uh, because they weren't supposed to be hackable. They were originally, yeah, anyway. So, yes, it was quite amusing. So, uh, yeah, you can ask Vectus more about the details. Uh, it was really a lot of notes I took on that. And, in the end, it was just a super simple fix because, yeah, all I had done was clearly had forgotten to change them to be not, uh, they w weren't supposed to be hackable. Because programmers will ignore non hackable things, they won't try to hack them. And uh, so, yeah, that wouldn't have been a problem. So, what exactly is going on here? Apparently, we're not currently in danger. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we have, a, we have notes. I left us some notes up here in the top left in our log there. Note, get a heatsink. Ah, okay. Reminding us we need a heatsink because, yeah, we, we're using cannons and stuff and. Uh, uh, at least they're cooled proton cannons, but we will overheat in a longer confrontation. What do we have heat-wise? Plus 26. Okay, not bad, but we're going to need one eventually. Uh, we still have a supply of cooled proton cannons, so that's good. That's nice. We found a, a stash of those. Actually, I think we got those from destroying a hauler, didn't we? Um, and... Oh, <laughs> okay, and the second note. All right, good, good point. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, "Kids saying Kaufman is a chubby chaser." This round. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go after some more heavies and and try to get another sensor. We've got this whole, uh, we've got so many empty slots, and we're not even really utilizing our slots all that well. Um, our utility slots are kind of all over the place because we're just rebuilding from whatever we can find. We have a teleporter. We have molecular scythe for. Uh, chopping through stuff and just a whole bunch of heavy treads. So yeah, a lot of heavy treads. What else do we have here? Let's see. We're moving at 160. Hmm, corrupted. There's a damaged cooled proton cannon. I think I probably dropped that one, huh? I don't know. Maybe it's worth picking up instead of this railgun. 
Mm, 53 left on it. Eh. Maybe not. Might as well keep this. We have a lot of others anyway. And it's, let's see. Okay, so matter-wise, we're maxed. Energy, we're regaining energy now. All right, so we're doing decently. Well, um, well we're, not, we're not about to die. I don't know what's nearby, though. Okay, where are we explored? All right, we barely started this floor. This is where we started, right here in the center there. We came up here, and we've been fighting our way northward. We are, where are we, located on the map? Oh, we're in the bottom right corner. So if we want to grab the edges, we kind of want to go north here. We don't want to... We don't want to head west or north. Uh, Toby Tears getting that heavy cannon. Or did you ever you get that last year? We actually, that's one thing I kept waiting for. That's why we have so few weapon slots. Uh, our, one of my other goals here is to, I want to get some of these heavy cannons, but we have yet to do that. Um, we haven't gotten any of them. I wanted to hack one. I think we got, did we get the schematics for one? Um, we got, no, we did not get the schematics for any. We didn't get any schematics. I remember trying that at least once, though. Um, so we can't even build one if, yet. Uh, but yeah, that's the other thing. We did actually manage to use the sensors for a bit, but then we went into the caves where they became useless anyway. Um, that was going to be an afternoon stream. No, no, it's, that was just an option, Vectis. Uh, I, I, it might have been, but I just, there's time in the morning, so we're doing it this morning. <laughs> Kiss and curious, why'd you make the conscious decision to name Active Census Suite exactly that and not any other name with any other acronym? Yeah. I, I mean, I actually talked about it in the in the Patreon when I post when I first introduced it. I mean I knew that it wouldn't have the greatest acronym, and I didn't really want it to be that acronym. But um theme wise, thematically speaking, and the fact that item names have to be short enough and thematically uh and uh like logically speaking, it was really the best name to go with purely on a name basis, so I, I did it anyway. <laughs> I, I thought for a while if there was something else maybe I'd want to use, but I just, I liked the way thematically how it was going to work. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go north. Oh, the volume at a little lower. Here we go. Just like how PP is an essential pal. Yeah, but that's not something you see all that often. Compared to this, it's pretty common. <laughs> Stasis Canceller. Everyone needs a Stasis Canceller. What do I have for these other slots? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wow. We could take a Stasis Canceller. <laughs> I'm not even... It, like, we could take a Matter Filter, but... Hmm. I'm just going to leave it empty. Empty slots. Cogmine's worst enemy. We're 7% exposed right now. Cargo Convoy. Okay. Oh, look. There's a corridor to the east. I wonder if that leads to a dead end. Scanalyzer. <laughs> Don't tempt me with your Patreon vlogs, kids. I will give you money for it. Consider this a threat. <laughs> well, okay, but if it makes you feel, you or your wallet feel any better, a lot of the stuff that's written on the Patreon does eventually make its way to the blog. Not everything, but a lot of it. And including, yeah, a lot of the stuff about the, the sensor will be on the blog. It's the next article, in fact. I haven't gotten to it yet, though. Are these guys for the convoy? Uh-oh. It would have been nice. That's the cool thing about with sensors, we could have seen if they were moving quickly nearby, but we don't have sensors. We don't have that luxury. Do I have a launcher? I don't even have a launcher left. We had one. Yeah, if this is the Yoller Scouts, we're gonna be in deep trouble. Ah, shoot. The thing is, I don't have a way to know whether they are or not. I'm gonna actually, wait a minute, what? Did I just reject something? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, we'll leave those up for a second. I'm literally afraid that these are the Yolder bots, so we're gonna go all the way back. We very well could be. Yes, intense. There are some very intense sounding machines, especially later on. Alright, on the ballistic guns, we don't care about that. Unfortunately, I dropped my heads in the treads in the hallway. Fortunately. I don't actually pick up their guns. Fortunately, we have more. Oh god, there's a security rotation too. I'm actually playing it safe here. I'm waiting for the convoy to leave because they can't take on a convoy in this state. We 
probably do fairly well, but without a launcher, I would be really worried about it. Oh, this is corrupted. I need to get rid of this corruption. 11%. Guys, not get through this wall. What's the wall we've got? 32. We can. Eventually. Man, why can't these shoot through the walls? Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoops. I just realized these are EM. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I forgot. Oh, man. That, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway. Well, I was going to shoot through. What else do I have? Nothing. We got weapon wise, we got their weapons. I don't want to go through the site. It's kind of pointless. I was going to shoot through diagonally to save some time. Because if we have to go this way, then we have to wait much longer to make sure that the hauler or whatever is not still out there. I feel like we're going to get caught. You know, these guys, hey, do you steal my stuff? Where are my treads? Somebody out, one of you guys has my treads. Well, or you didn't get there yet. Anyone out here? No. It might have just been nothing, obviously. There's always that option, too. Alright, the treads are still here. EM badge confirmed. No, EM's good. Oh, check it out. An alarm trap. Uh, what am I going to do with that? With an alarm trap, I was going to say, we could use our proton cannon to intentionally <laughs> get some bot that's passing through here, some green bot. Just corrupt it with a single proton cannon hit and have it walk over the alarm trap, but that won't help us here. It would only help if it was anything but an alarm trap. Uh, the other option to get around it is to hack around it, but the only way to be sure that it's not double width is to use a, uh, a scythe and go around through the room. This can guarantee it will get around it, because even if it's two width, the other line will be over here. Force ram the wall. Vectus, you how do you have so many good ideas? <laughs> Probably not a dead end, then. This looks like an interesting back way to get through, huh? Uh, do I want a fusion compressor? Would we need that much power? Not now, we don't. Where's the yaller? I'm expecting to walk around the corner and see it any time now. Prototype reactor. Ooh, advanced targeting computer. Oh ho ho! Lots of advanced targeting computers. Hmm. Sweet. Uh... Oh, is that so? Where are you guys coming from, then? No, you died. Oh, shoot, there's a bit of a problem. I don't have any weapons to hurt the programmers with. Oh, good thing I have something else here. I have no idea where they are, though bit of an issue. I did keep other weapons around. Also, I guess I'm going to go out of siege mode for a second. They, it's no telling where they are, so. Prototype reactor, and of course this corrupted railgun. I really don't want the corruption, though. Oh, that was fast. That was fast. They shot that off immediately. All right. <clears throat> right now we're playing fake swarmer. This is actually going to be really hard. I might get in big trouble by going into siege mode here. Man, I uh, should protect the guns, but we're going to take a lot of extra damage. Also, we're going to get a locker of corruption. Uh, this is probably a bad move. I didn't know how fast I'd get here. Oh, corruption. Would have been had I known how close they were, I would have stayed in the doorway. We have a lot of hacking suites. Uh, what else do we have? Three advanced targeting computers. Sweet. Programmers are kind of like the main thing we don't want to fool around with. Plus six corruption from that encounter. Yeah, that was not desirable to say the least. Uh, but hey, at least I picked up those heavy machine guns earlier. Seemed like it would be valuable to have some other kind of damage. <laughs> Did lose the railgun immediately. Mm. The, proton can or the cool proton cannons otherwise are pretty awesome, though. 
Uh, let's see, we know what these are. This type of reactor. I don't want to check that out. It might mess up some of our stuff. We don't have anything right now that's super valuable. Also, I don't need this storage unit, which I'm carrying around for some reason. You can always use more targeting computers. Not going to miss now, which is nice. Compact particle reactor. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. I really don't want this guy. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get him on the site. Well, the good thing is it backs him up sometimes, but. Back! How much? Well, you didn't get any more corruption. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, I've got a heatsink. I actually did need one of those. According to my note, we need a heatsink. Now, just for later. If and well, once we start switching to other weapons, we'll need a heatsink. So, uh, let's see. Wait, do I actually need a target analyzer here for these? Uh, door cooled proton cannons are our primary weapon. Uh, they do have critical four percent. Uh, that's not bad, actually. The extra corruption you can get from that. I'm trying to think of uh, something else. Core analyzer. Man, I don't know. It's advanced. I'm also using, I have hacking speeds right now, which is kind of atypical. <laughs> Could drop the advanced target computer on inventory. We do not need as many. And just carry this as a spare part. So yeah, I gotta do that. That was just an extra thing. Whoops. Oh, wait. oh we're not standing on it. Right, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss it. We don't hold my oil. Yeah. Whoops. We will see about that. Okay, continuing northward. Found something. Overload regulator. Nope. Oh, actually, that's kind of funny. An overload regulator. Mm. Decreases overload energy weapon heat. I'm not really overloading my proton cannons, but I don't know. Um, stability. Uh, stability on these is only 88%. I'm gonna. We're gonna be relooking at the uh, overload mechanics. Those are gonna be able to be redone during beta 11. It's on my list of things to do because they're not quite good enough yet. I mean, it's powerful enough, but there's just, uh, it requires too many synergies, and even then, it's just kind of too risky to use. It was meant, I don't know, but it was meant to be. Anyway, I'm going to relook at the whole thing, though, and kind of rebalance it, make it maybe simpler or something like that, just so that it's uh, better designed. It's never been revisited. Oh, micro nuke. Anti missile, we could probably do without that. System restoration. How many of those? We got two of those. Nice. Very good. Stop being corrupted. Of course, I'm going to pull something off. Okay, goodbye targeting computer. I'll just take them all off until I start missing things again. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to grab this nuke and I'll get the other system restoration shortly. But first, the nuke. More programmers. Man, you take out like a Uh, at least we're going to start getting rid of our corruption here. <laughs> Goodbye, compressor. Oh, that's true. We could get rid of the compressor, too. I dropped... I re removed... Hey, wait a minute. Just Yeah, I removed one of our treads, which is already getting super beat up. Because we have... Still have some spares. We should find some more stuff soon. Mm. The compressor, yeah. We're probably not going to really ever need that. That's an extra thing. That's true. Actually, is that... Where is it? Oh, I have that attached, right? I forgot. I could even another one right now we'll just get rid of that just to get rid of our corruption even faster check it out double system restoration module hopefully I don't get one off now where are these programmers coming from what am I going to use to kill them with <laughs> eh. um, well I'm already equipped prototype launcher and an advanced weapon cycler
I have to wait to get rid of my corruption anyway, so I'm doing it now. Cargo convoy. Mm. Corruption is at six percent. Gotcha. Hey guys. Get a load of this. Uh, oh shoot, he shot my system restoration module. Oh shoot, did I drop? Uh, drop my cycler. That's important to pick up again. Oh, lost one of the targeting computers. Wonderful. Come on. Die now. Got you all. Uh, that melted down. Whatever that was. Oh, Tiamat missile launcher. It got melted down. Oh, at least we have a nuke. Still. All right, we need uh, that machine gun's almost dead. Shoot. Youngster says almost all propulsion uses energy. Yeah, all propulsion does use some amount of energy. Um, uh, really, it matters a lot more when uh, you're on faster propulsion, but any propulsion, like you can, if you get super low on energy and have really good. Uh, treads or even or legs and stuff that you can actually run out um, it can be problematic but it's a lot less likely does core hover use energy uh, actually that's a good question and I, I, I think it I, I think it doesn't if it even if it does you you already generate your core generates enough uh, to for itself uh, but I don't think it does the stats for that are actually in the manual itself only that's not something I've ever run into. So, mm. all right. Next time, you know what? Next time, programmers show up, I'm just gonna nuke them. So, I'm gonna drop this machine gun. We don't need a almost destroyed backup machine gun. Just shift all P and test real quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Another advanced heat sink. Uh, hmm. Pick up some matter, that's kind of nice. Grab that heat sink because it's in better shape than ours. And. Mm, these treads are now in better shape than one of the ones I've got on. Alright, fine. It's not going to help that much, but. Yeah, system restoration module has gotten us down to 2%, which is amazing. It was nice to find two of those in a pile. That's, I am, I'm very happy we've got that now. What is the storage? Small battery. Okay, goodbye, small battery. I don't need you. Um, technically, it's kind of nice to fill all your slots, but it becomes a little less important to completely fill them in the late game, I think. I like don't really mind keeping a couple empty, just so that I don't have to worry about remembering certain things I might want to drop. It says, have you seen the community so universally happy with the changes they've been with the corruption purge utilities? I don't know. It's kind of funny because someone else called it a nerf the other day. They said they were nerfed. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but oh, check it out. It's a heavy. Can we beat a heavy? I think the answer is yes. Um, somebody was, yeah, saying that they thought it was a, a nerf. Uh, that's the, the first one of the first opinions I heard, like, directly saying it's bad. But uh, I don't know. Uh, was it you? <laughs> Uh, was it you, Luigi? Somebody said it was a nerf. I, I explained that it's actually a buff, but... <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, GJ. GJ it's a nice processor loadout. Let's see if it survives a single heavy encounter. Yeah, our coverage is... Hmm, is kind of hmm right now. Well, with a heavy, what we can do... No, we can't do that very well. Um, Let me think. Well, the range in our proton can is good, and I think we should... We can probably just use it to outright blast right through the heavy stuff. The problem is it's not going to leave anything but corrupted gear for us. Uh, what is our system? This uh, system restoration has pretty much done its job, but we don't. it's not going to do any more job for us. <laughs> don't have to worry about even taking it off. 
All right, what is this gonna do here? Um, what is our range on these things? They're only 16. It's not a long range proton cannon. Long range proton cannons would allow us to like zap this guy from outside of his range. Alright, um, we can get closer by using this recycler as cover. We're gonna get really beat up though, this guy's gonna blast us to hell. And the thing is, we can't, if, heavies will not track you for long, so if we duck into a room, he won't come after us. Like, if, a, if this was a sentry, and we hit in this room, we could wait for him and use the door strats. But their behavior is different. This heavy will instead use reinforcements on us. He's not going to actually come after us himself, which is kind of pretty different from other bots. Uh, we could dig through the side rooms and get closer to him. That is an option. Uh, the other option is just go straight forward. Um, what I, I kind of want to be in siege mode. If we duck into a room, this guy shoots through walls. That's true. Uh, he doesn't actually see us yet, though. And they only go, they'll only shoot through one layer. So, like hunters, if you get through at an angle, they, they have, they will approach. But they won't approach from very far. So, anyway, one option would be, it looks like there's rooms on the right side. You could dig through this room and that room and just get close to them. The other, the, what part, the downside of that is the longer you spend running around in his range, the more likely he's going to call reinforcements on the area. So with a heavy, I think it seems like it makes a lot of sense to just take them out as quickly as possible. But <laughs> yeah, it's I like it too, Vec, just that they don't pursue you like rabid dogs like every part of this game. <laughs> yeah, most of the others will really come after you. There's, these really change it up. Uh, I mean, just all their other mechanics combined with the fact that they will only, uh, they won't chase you very far. I mean, the only reason they could, that can really work is because they're paired with the re reinforcement mechanic, right? Like if it was a regular bot, you could just cheese them that way. But I like how you can't do that with them, because if you do that, they're just going to keep calling reinforcements on you. <laughs> so it, it's, it's nice that there was a way to fit that in, um, to, so that they don't come after you. Would like to see that mechanic applied to hunters, too. <laughs> yeah, hunters are the exact opposite. <laughs> they will pursue you to the ends of, not the earth, Tau Ceti 4. Okay, so to say, I think I kind of just want to take this guy head on. Uh, coverage wise, he's mostly going to just hit our treads. Uh, and if we get, if he procs his crit, we're going to get some stuff blown off. But he's going to hurt pretty fast. I think we're going to get him taken down. So we're going to like farm up here with all proton cannons. Maybe we could even overload them. They're not. They, I think we'll screw ourselves up if we overload them. Throw another. Hello there. Um, we could go into siege mode. I'm not sure if it's worth it yet. I'm gonna fire once and see what happens. to cannon. Ran out of energy. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, probably didn't need that many heat sinks running. In fact, we didn't need any of those heat sinks running. We ran out of energy because of the weapon cycler. Um, how much do we need? 240 energy? Oh my god. <laughs> He's almost dead. <laughs> it's going pretty well. Yes, yeah, the western standoff, right, youngster? If we overload the cannons, we still get usable salvage. Yeah, overloading the cannons would also be a... In fact, he would be dead by now if we overloaded the cannons. Um, the problem is, I was kind of worried about what it would do, would do to us. I shouldn't have left the heat sinks on because we didn't actually need all of them on and it ruined even more power. But... How much did it drain? Well, not a ridiculous amount, but... All right, now we're running out. We've run out of energy. Let me see. Uh, gonna, we might swap down to, let me see, 160. All right, let's do this. Oh, shit, I don't have the regulator anymore. That's going to overheat us. And then we'll need the energy. We'll need the energy. Uh, we'll need the heat sinks then. All right, I'm going to turn here. There we go. What's this going to take? Yeah, that's, that's too expensive. We can't do that anymore. All right, he's almost dead. You're dead, dude. You're going to die.
how corrupt I mean, it doesn't even matter about the corruption he's literally well his core is really beat up just from raw damage <laughs> from the em but this is cutting it rather close thank you god forever Ooh -hoo. okay <laughs> laser tag on a play Hey, Salamander. Thanks for the subscription. Welcome. All right, but is it corrupted? I'm sure everything up there is corrupted. How could everything not be corrupted? We just hit this guy with like 20 shots from proton cannons. <laughs> it's all corrupted. Luckily, we're back to zero, which is pretty awesome. Uh, he dropped his improved heavy armor. Haven't had any of that for a while. Uh, transmission jammer. So he did call for help. So that'll be arriving at some point. He did drop his sensor. So put on that. Put on all that loot. I want to see how much corruption is with the dynamic insulation. Oh, uh, he's got dynamic. Ins is there dynamic insulation somewhere nearby? Equip everything and decorrupt. Yeah, well, we already did. We ran out of that. Uh, that option is no longer available. <laughs> All right, we're going to head up north now. Here comes a recycler. Oh, here's his friends. His friends are arriving. Might be the unknown part. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, this one up here. All right. Um, All right, his friends did arrive now. Yeah, it could be the unknown because it's not a prototype. Uh... So this is kind of a dilemma. At this point, we kind of need to get back our energy to fight these other guys. Check slots on unknown. Uh, it's a, it wouldn't be multi slots. We already know what the other part is. It's going to be one slot at mass one. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we need to shoot. <laughs> I need en to get energy back. a moment here I'm trying to take some of these guys out of range first we actually have the advantage right now now we're gonna lose it in a second though this guy here is gonna be a problem actually shooting this guy might be a problem can't do it right now either go over here well he got shot at anyway I don't want him to pick up the stuff right but I need to save my energy here. Oh, no, I can't do that. I was going to say I could just nuke those guys, but we don't want to nuke them. That would be bad form. Alright, we're regaining energy here. Gaining energy and gaining siege mode. I was only sort of afraid of that. a terminal to hack. Alright, all the loot is in one piece here. In fact, Kizrati's really showing us how good imprint is. I did that last round when I won while imprinted. <laughs> Corrupted armored medium treads. Okay, I will uh, appease the crowd here. Uh, oh wait, uh, EM shield as well. Hmm. Also corrupted. 25% heavy mass driver. This 
is what I've been waiting for. 15% blast, mega damage. You just obliterate guys with that. Uh, advanced weapon cycler, another one. Uh, heavy phase cannon. Oh, Salamina says it's still really weird talking about imprinting in Zion because there's a Zion National Park where I live. <laughs> Did you go there looking for the imprinter, Salamander? <laughs> you don't think there's robots there? <laughs> uh, they're they're hidden. Uh, transmission jammer would be nice too. It's always nice to use a transmission jammer when going after a, a heavy. Actually, the range of this is only twelve though. This is what this is. If we had one of these, we would have dug through the rooms and then popped out next to him, and then we wouldn't have had to deal with the extra reinforcements. That's a heat sink. A crappy one, too. <laughs> the unknown part was a crappy heat sink. I got 6% corruption for for laughs. <laughs> and I, then I dropped it. An advanced visual processing unit, also corrupted. Of course, everything's in here is going to be corrupted. That's not going to be a surprise. I have to give sensor suite. Heavy armor. At least armor can't be corrupted. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we can put on armor, or we can put on the corrupted active sensor suite. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, we want the mass driver too. Uh, let us see. We got uh, one inventory space left. I'm gonna make some more space here. Uh, let's drop that. I'm also gonna drop. Uh, I guess we can drop the heavy machine gun. Now I might have wanted, wait, what's the matter consumption on this thing? I think I might have wanted the, yeah, the matter on this is uh, 11. Mm. Might have wanted to keep them, or have that matter filter now. Drop the machine gun. Grab this puppy. And then also the heavy armor. All right, so the question now is, do I want to attach the heavy armor or the sensors? It's basically going two kind of different routes here. Let's attach the sensors because it's more fun, right? It's the new thing. Let's do the new thing. Targeting computers, I want to keep those. Heat sink, we don't, we aren't going to need that attached because we're not going to have armor on. It was just kind of like the main thing we would need to have that on for. So let's throw on this corruption. Nice source of corruption. Yes, I'm well aware. Bring it. I think we've got everything I need here from this pile. Do sort of want the transmission jammer. Mm, maybe, I don't know, it's corrupted. It makes me want it less. <laughs> I mean, we've got space for it. I guess I could throw it in anyway. Also, the advanced pr process, visual processor is cool. All right, I'm gonna push that up. Hmm. Vectis, new Sigil Scaling Artifact, integrated active sensor suite. It's like an active sensor suite, but you can't turn it off. A trap item. <laughs> uh, uh, you're correct, Salamander. It does alert nearby enemies to use an active sensor, but it takes time. All right, so we can see here sort of that there's uh, stuff to the north, right? Knew that. Um, all right, so what I want to do now is go... I want to get this terminal to the west of us. I'm going to go north to do it, though. Oh, look, it's a behemoth. Oh, damn, going north to do it is not a good idea. Should probably go through the wall down here. Core analyzer and a battery. Do I need matter? No, I'm going to this guy, but we don't need your matter, so we'll let you live. We're currently 11% corruption, the corrupted, the last corruption at least. So it's plus five, I see. Okay, let's shoot. Our most effective way to get through walls is to use a mass driver. <laughs> Mainly because I need to go through two levels of two depths of wall here, right down here. Uh, it does not, uh, GJ. It doesn't give them your location. It just uh, has. They come to the general area. If you're using an active sensor suite, enemies will come to the general area, but they won't know your exact location. So you can still get away just fine. 
Thank God, yeah, that would yeah, that would be a little too mean. <laughs> if they could actually like track you with that and continue following you. But now they just they'll come to that area and uh, and check it out. So if you keep moving, the sensor suite is actually quite good. That's what it's kind of for. It's for uh, for mob bots that are going to keep moving. So it's really probably it's pretty good for flight. But if you use it for too long, too much, you, it can end up pretty uh, causing you some problems. Just the fact that there's more and more squads to avoid. If it's yeah, if they just start filling the whole area with patrols, so. Flight buff, yeah, as GJ said before, I mentioned that on the, the Discord. I'm trying to get into this room because I want to use that terminal. That's what is going on right now. Um, I don't want to walk all the way around to do it, which means the option is really, all right, first let's shoot this guy. Oh God, there's a garrison right to the north of us. Well, now we know. <laughs> Processor calls for garrison support. <laughs> I wonder if that could actually be abused, used to lure a squad, turn it off and sneak by. No, you can't use it like that because it adds new squads to the map. It doesn't cause squads nearby to come after you. Yeah, that's interesting. The heavy didn't call for reinforcements. <laughs> from the garrison but his his well he called rein, he called his own reinforcements and they got there really quick that's the reason but anyway mm. well that's annoying all right he called for reinforcements technically if we want we can slip through here i don't really want to mess we don't want to fight a behemoth though shoot all right well the fact that there's a garrison there kind of messed things up a lot i'm gonna i think i'm gonna turn off our sensors here and go and Try to slip to the northwest now. Turning off our sensors because we don't need them just out oh, shoot. I'm not going to really get out there. That behemoth can see me if I walk out there. It's a big old room. Oh god. <laughs> Bad news. Um, let me think here for a second. Let's do it like... Seriously, programmers too? Oh well. At least it'll be fun to kill them. The other guy got oh, the other way. Alright, I don't want to hit his engine, that would actually be bad. I say as I shoot him anyway! Alright, that was the end of the reinforcements. I should have just killed them earlier and not worried about them too much. I need to shut down the garrison though, but I can't do that until I go all the way back around. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, that's a response to the active scanning, and it's coming right from the garrison here. Do this at home, fighting in front of a garrison. There he is. Come on. Oh shoot, there is another one. Ran out of energy. Lost her cannon. Finally, get to the gas. Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> Very sad. I could try to use a scythe on this guy. That's actually one of our. That's not our only option, only real option here. Wait a minute. Oh god, there's a yawl or two. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, this. Oh, hmm. Yawler. Let me think. Hmm. This just complicates things. Where the hell is he coming from? Where? <laughs> no, it's a yaller. <laughs> Alright, this guy is going to have two ARC escorts right behind him. 
Have we considered jumping into the garrison itself? Yeah, we should follow the Yaller in, right? Uh, hmm. uh, also, it would be terrible if we couldn't jump in. Um, <laughs> what if you could actually follow the Yaller? Yeah, that won't work. It won't do anything for you. It would be kind of funny, but... Um, Preemptive shift, alt shift P moment? No, I think we're good. Yeah, we have a Yaller, a Behemoth, uh, ARCs. We, we took out the Heavy down here already, at least. And he didn't, that wasn't a big problem. It worked. Okay, the fact that this programmer arrived now, though, it's not, there's going to be another programmer, at least one around the corner. And I don't really want to deal with this. All right, let's... Uh, you can destroy the. I know. I was thinking about that too, Vectus. Now that, that was my first uh, thought. Actually, is to destroy the garrison, and then the Yaller will redirect, because if you destroy the Yaller's garrison target, he's going to go somewhere else. He's got to go somewhere, right? So he'll he'll find another target. And he might turn around and go the other way. The problem is, I can't actually get into view and take out the garrison without. We could do it with an overloaded proton cannon, probably. Um, is my guess, uh, EM minus 50. Yeah, we could overload a proton cannon and destroy the garrison. But to do that, we first have to crush past this master, and by going north one space, it's pretty likely that an ARC back here will move into view and spot us. If not then, then after we fire the cannon. I think we're a little too close, unfortunately. That's sad. The other option is to just, another option is to just back away. And the option I've actually been thinking about as soon as I saw this situation, is to use our teleporter. <laughs> um, I think that makes more sense right here. This is just getting, this is gonna become untenable rather quickly. We do have a nuke, which is kinda neat. We could take the, the offensive approach, which is to smash our way on top of the programmer, push him back, put on a nuke, and start firing nukes up there. Actually, go north, destroy the garrison with a proton cannon shot, put on the nuke, and then just start firing nukes. I would not blame teleporting away from this. That Yaller hasn't spotted you. You're fine. Yeah, the Yaller hasn't. It's true. Uh, there, it's, it's gonna spot us in a moment. Plus one. Which plan? Which plan is a plus one? What? <laughs> I, there was a lot of plans presented there, and there's some plus ones in the in, the, in chat now here. Um, Yeah, we're doing fine on the support and speed. Plus, we've got we got 220 support here. Plus one to offensive approach. You guys really want to see the offensive approach? This could this could see this could potentially end the run. Um, is this the buffed Yoller? Oh, sure. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it it's definitely buffed. I mean, the little good. The thing is, we probably won't remember. We probably won't get the Yoller loot. I'm, even if we do this, we're probably not gonna get the loot. The Yoller's gonna run away. It'll make it away while we're fighting everything else, because that's just how it goes with Yellers, right? <laughs> Run in, fuck. I want to be entertained at your expense. So, okay. Just so that you all know, the safest way to handle this is to teleport. In which case, yes, of course, there's a 50% chance I'll literally, like, teleport right in front of the behemoth and between everything. That would be pretty hilarious, to actually. If we teleported it, it landed, like, right here. Out here or something. And then all the ARCs open and the behemoth's there, the programmers are out here, and then we're just getting shot by everything. So, yeah, it's not the safest. Well, it's, you're right, there is that drawback. There's a 50% chance or so that we could get totally screwed by a teleport. Um, also, there's just a regular teleporter. If this was a, a high-powered uh, one, then we could, pr it could, we could possibly get much further away and be a lot safer, I think. But, all right, anyway, okay, the fun way is to nuke. All right, we're going to go forward and see what happens. It's going to hurt. <laughs> I, I kind of I need to put on my armor actually too, but we don't have time to do that. So, hello everyone, you see me now. All right, we should be able to just fry this thing with a single shot. The yaller's gonna have to turn around. Um, these guys are gonna be sitting right in my face though. Hello everyone. Strikers and friends, 
All right, so hmm. to nuke, we have to go out in the open, I think. Can we shoot around these guys? No, they're right in my face. I can't shoot around these guys. Could pull back. Yeah, striker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dying painfully it is. All right, the, the, the yaller is now going to find another way to go. Um, it'd be funny if it tried to get around us. Go straight down here. <laughs> to nuke, we have to go out in the open. Yeah. Uh, we could try a nuke in the enclosed area here. Um, point blank. Uh, it might be smarter to pull back a little bit. I like the fact that they're all together and we can nuke them, but... There'd be, there'd be, there'd be some damn good protos. I don't. I really don't think we're going to be able to take out the Yoller. He's going to make it away. There's, there's just... How would we possibly defeat this stuff and take out the Yoller in time? But, eh, there's always, there's always a first, right? No, we can actually shoot that. We can shoot... The only angle we can get to shoot anything is is through here, which is not a great angle. It's not really much of a nuke. It's going to get absorbed by the machine. Did he get in range? See, wait, no, sort of. Not quite. He almost got in range. I really want to shoot the guys in the back. This guy needs to move up a space, but he's not going to because he can already shoot us from there, I guess. Could shoot the back right there. That might work. Yeah, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna nuke the corner here. Right, perfect. That wasn't bad. Pretty good spot. Oh god, two more strikers. <laughs> Alright, switching directions. Uh, can I actually shoot here now? Uh, is there anything I can hit over there? Alright, I guess I might shoot this guy. Boom! Alright, that sort of worked. Also, I probably should have started going into siege mode there, huh? In before point blank nuke, you know it. <laughs> There's the yaller. He's just sitting there, wanting to be shot. There goes all of his stuff! We got- we killed the yaller, man! Whoa! Killed the Yaller and there's like junk all over the place now. Oh man. Do I nuke the stuff or do I not nuke the stuff? <laughs> Prototype piercing weapons. Oh man. Not junk, yeah. Don't nuke the stuff. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, I figured you'd say no, but. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, it's just Prog and Strike, there's no biggie. Yeah, eh, I'm just gonna get some. We're up to 13%. We're just getting a lot of corruption here is all right. Okay, now it's time to pull back then. <laughs> Vectus will cry, so we can't do that. All right. Uh, shoot. How am I going to take out these programmers with a bunch of proton cannons? Oh, also we have a mass driver. You know what? That's actually going to be pretty nice to use. I'm going to pull back now into the corridor. Since, I'm, since you won't let me nuke anything, I will remove the nuke and back up. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, screw that. Oh man. Hey, Jack9! Welcome. We appear to be missing something critical here, integrity. Ye yeah. <laughs> gonna lose all our treads in a moment. Uh, what else do I have here? Transmission jammer? Yeah, that's not gonna help. Okay. Here's some more integrity. Wait, what? Oh, yes, I know that. Mm. Blast that guy. Oh, it's a striker. Well, lovely. We're going to lose all our treads here. Uh-oh. Damn, two strikes to find us. Stop shielding them. Oh, I need to hit his core. All I have to do is hit the core, and you'll die. 
Stop that. Get killed by a friend. <laughs> oh, still alive. Why are you still alive? No, no, no. <laughs> Core hits are a myth. <laughs> Staying in the quarter was not a great idea, me thinks. No, we, we had to stay in the quarter. The only other way to not stay in the quarter would have been if we were going to nuke. And people wouldn't let me continue to nuke because there's loot up there now. But we have to actually survive this encounter in order to use the loot. But the quarter is actually one of the best options. So technically, we should have moved down to here. But if, and I didn't want to spend any extra turns moving because we're not moving that fast. Um, it would have been smarter to move further south, even down to here maybe, because most of the enemies are north of us. And so they wouldn't be able to get as many hits in from angles. So, GG says he'll let us nuke now. We're really gonna get screwed here. Even a nuke will get pretty exposed. Um, what are we on? 14% exposure on our micro nuke. You know, the exposure on the top side shows what your current exposure is. The bottom side shows what it would be if you attached the item, what, ex what exposure that item would have then. Nuke own face, minimal damage to floor nuke. Mm. Our core, our core is fine right now. Obviously, we're gonna in a moment. We're gonna lose our last propulsion in a second. Our treads are all our coverage because we're in siege mode. But these guys are gonna go down really fast to a new core. They're pretty hurt. See, they went down. All of them went down, and then we lost our nuke immediately. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I love it when this happens. Wonderful. So now that I've lost my nuke, I don't have to do what you guys say anymore. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do the first time. In which case, we would still have a build. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. We That was uh, entertaining and we, you, I don't know, it would have been even more entertaining if we'd actually survived. Uh, but anyway, yeah, switch to hover and go kill the remainder. Yeah, I was gonna grab, we need to grab this. Um, switch to hover, we can't actually carry anything with that though. What else is down here? There's a lot of other stuff down here. There's a lot of hover actually down here. Lots of hover. Um, they're all up there. We need to get up there fast to grab the stuff if we're going to rebuild from it, though, of course. Light particle reactor. Uh, somebody's calling on the phone. One moment. Yeah, figured. Just some robocall thing. Just look at the number. Don't answer. It's, it's unaware is trying to pinpoint your position. Oh no, they found me. <laughs> right after the teleport, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious and uh, scary. All right. What is? All right. So what do I have up here? I actually want this light particle reactor, probably. Uh, yeah, because our compact one is is doomed at this point. Um. Can't remove that. Gonna have to actually wait until we exit siege mode to get to actually move around. Uh, so we can actually go back south to pick up these things or just go straight north and grab that, but we don't have enough weapons. So we kind of wanna go south to grab some more weapons, I think. Going to oh shoot, it's a striker. Oh, God damn it. 
thought I could get away from them by just going through that door, but there wasn't enough. Thirty-nine. Yeah, it sucks that he gets spotted by this guy. So close. Must have been that phone call. <laughs> they knew exactly where I was headed. They've now tapped into my computer here. Uh, anyway, I wanted to get out of here so we can get like, a little more... Get, although not get enough hover support to be able to move quickly with all of our stuff. The transmission jammer would be useful now. It would. Uh, where actually is that? It's further... Or you mean from earlier, right? Not that it's nearby now or anything. But, uh, yeah, it would be actually be quite useful. Alright, I'm curious where it is. It's gone, yeah. <sighs> Time to solo all the on the side. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's the, that's the next stage. Um, I'm just, because this guy, he moves pretty fast, huh? What's his, what's his speed? They move at uh, 42. 42. Yeah. I don't think I can, I can't even get into the room to the south of me before he's going to reach us. I could almost move to the southeast twice and chop the wall, but I have to attach something for that. He's kind of got to wait here for him. We don't have any coverage, though. He's just going to, like, rip our core apart. But I'm going to go into siege mode, I think, even though it's not going to... It's going to be almost meaningless, but might as well have a tiny amount of protection. Oh, they're all coming here now. Great. Whoops. That was not the button I wanted to press. X. <laughs> Prepare to die, programmer. Oh, I can't move. Alright, I can move at 240. <laughs> Yeah, nice shot, programmer. Seriously. Very helpful. Um, there's... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot I put it in my inventory. It's corrupted, so I wasn't even looking at it as a part. I'm like... My eyes are glazing over the transmission jammer thing there. You're right. In fact, I should have just attached it instantly. I wouldn't care about the corruption at that point, really. Well, actually, it didn't have a long enough range, did it? It's got... Uh, was it 12? Yeah, probably not long enough range, but anyway. Unequip the well. Uh... He, mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Really, I want to unequip almost anything I have right now. I don't think the well is that essential right now, but once we switch to hover, it'll become much more important, it's true. Assuming we can get to hover. First, we have to actually get to the programmer. We're going to move way too slow. He's going to get to easily attack us while we chase him down. Because we're moving too slow. What are our on mass looking like? It's mainly because of the storage unit. We can almost just, maybe we can drop the storage unit even. I'd have to drop two heat sinks. If I drop two heat sinks, we won't lose anything of our inventory when I drop that. Actually, wait, I need that. You can drop the reactor too. All right. There we go. Uh, we're now moving faster. Ha! That's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> oh my. I see you to test the very idea of heatsink armor. Oh, you're right. Uh, well, I can pick it up in a second later. I'm first think concentrating on inventory management. I love the idea of heatsink armor. I do that all the time. <laughs> Corrupted railgun. Man, we're going to have to get to use anything for the site here. Wait, I like advanced targeting armor. Perfect aim? Wow, I just got an achievement. I've never had such good accuracy with my gamma rifle. <laughs> nice. I didn't know I didn't have that achievement. I wonder how many achievements I'm still missing. Nice aim. Let's go. Yeah. We'll see how that turns out. Another gamma rifle. Which doesn't weigh six. All right.
This run's gonna be very exciting if you hit an arb range here. Eh. I, it'll be very exciting if I uh, survive the run. I hope there's stuff left up here. <laughs> Chances of it are not very high though anymore. Need matter. Hello matter. Corrupted armored medium treads. Disruptor cannon. Yeah, we passed up the inverters earlier. Salamander, how could you look away during the Yaller showdown? Oh shoot. I don't have my I don't have any missiles anymore and there's swarmers coming. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, turn off an inverter? Oh. Why? It makes us slower. Oh, you mean for energy, I see. Yeah, for energy purpose. Also, oh, you mean an inverter. Uh, yeah, slower for, yeah, we didn't quite, it makes us a little slower, but we're in a negative energy then. This is 108. Mm. Eh. Phase cannon, anyway, now there's swarmers coming, wonderful. Uh, why are you going north? You know the confess is up there? Because that's where all this, the Yaller loot is. I want to see what, where, it, we want to get the Yaller loot. Where else am I going to go? The other option would be to literally, where else are we going to go? Literally, I mean... This over here leads to a behemoth. This whole area goes north. Oh, we'd have to go all the way back to here. We're being chased by assaults already. The I think the biggest hope is really to gather good stuff up here and like have a fighting chance against an assault. Where or I don't think we're gonna be able to run away from it. We might be able to actually run away from most of it. It depends on uh, the swarmers. Uh, yeah, I forget what I said. Yeah, exactly. Become the clown, join clown fest. <laughs> Ever heard of melee analysis? Yes, uh, I would. I would love one. Oh wait, there weren't any, were there? Well, there was the strikers, they didn't drop any, huh? No, they did not. Um, yeah, we're using a advanced targeting computers. Okay, so there's swarmers coming. Mm, looks like our option now is to retreat. Run away. Good thing is we're fast enough to do this. And I think we're gonna have to kill these guys though. We're not fast enough to like run away. Oh, wait a minute. What if? What if I do that? And the swarmers have to go the other way. <laughs> Get lost, fools. Hmm. Well, we. we Still, we lost our last piece of hackware. Eh? <laughs> I had an advanced hacking suite. We don't have an advanced hacking suite anymore. We can't hack this place. Um, hmm. Well, you know, that probably means we should put a Trojan on it, right? 14. Oh well, it was worth a shot. It's probably the best thing we could do there. Very optimistic hack. Yeah, that was not going to happen. We wouldn't get either of those. Branch wouldn't happen there either. We lost our hackware. I had been carrying around one piece for a while. Not enough botnets to botnet. <laughs> no, did not add a botnet either. Okay, the main question here is how long do we wait for the swarmers? Because they're currently, they don't have long to go. This is a longer corridor here. All they have to do is go through there and get to here. And they're going to be back on our tail again. So... I think that was probably a good opportunity. I didn't want to wait any longer. It'd be a little more risky. All right, uh, advanced weapon cycler. Ours is damaged. I love this thing. It was so useful. Oh, that was nice. 
Good thing the farmers aren't right next to us. Masterful juke. Thank you, GJ. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> juke this, says the ARC, coming straight for us. It's an assault. <laughs> All right, wait. Uh, where is he? Where, where'd he go? Did he get stuck? I'm literally trying to do the same thing to the ARC. Where'd he go? Why'd he turn around? Thank you, Vectus. I only need one ARC. Thank you. I was actually hoping the ARC would come down here. Was it a patrol? And it reached the end of its patrol? That would be pretty amusing. It might be the garrison assault. What do you mean by... The engineer blocked it, maybe? Yeah, that would actually be bad, actually, in, in this case. I, I'd prefer it would have come straight down. Oh, you mean because I shot a garrison earlier. Oh, that's true. In other words, God, this is this north area is really dangerous. Also, there's stasis traps right here. Oh, no, you know, there's probably just one stasis trap. That's why I didn't hit it earlier. It's a door trap. So that ARC is from the garrison? That What that means is the ARC is literally just sitting up in that area now. This is a terrible place. Maybe time to turn tail and run. To where? We're not going to actually get to anywhere. I don't think we're going to be able to use much of the loot that's up there. Well, there's a cargo storage unit that also dropped. Hmm. So much good stuff up there, though. Including, mo I mean, we could get, even if we just, may even if it's if it's still there, if we could just pick up the melee weapons, that would be super useful. We just go full melee hover. Exactly. Just like GJ suggests here, too, now. Just pick up all the plasma lances and solo everything in a doorway. <laughs> that might work. Um, <laughs> Luigi, when in doubt, grab a shovel and dig. <laughs> Alright, I think... I don't know. It'd be, it's more interesting if we go north, so I'm going to go north. There's a swarmer. Who's lost us? They don't know we're here. Um, we have a transmission jammer. We could try to kill it and jam it. I don't know. Is that door stuck open? Why is that door stuck open? It's not a different color, though. Uh, oh shoot, this could be a bad idea to... Or oh, something's keeping... Never mind, no, there's something behind the door that's keeping it open. I really don't want to fight the swarmers. Uh, the Swarmers, are they coming back? They're probably just still hanging around in the area. They're not coming for us right now. There's a recycler who stole everything. Oh, shoot. There's a programmer. The programmer just came out of this room. Uh, there's, uh, that recycler is already cleaning up the area. Oh, look, I found a great axe. I guess as a backup. There's that ARC again. Melee, you'll need all of it to Luigi to get out of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want to do what I want to do with this great axe. I kind of want to keep the a, a double gamma rifle, um, not necessarily attached. I mean, I'll put it in my inventory, but I need to throw something away in order to, to take it. Actually, wait, can we even use mass for more mass? Mm. Uh, I'm thinking of could I, I could attach the energy well. Actually, well, I mean, technically, we can also well, we'll be net, neg net negative energy with that. 20. Actually, if we switch to the other power source, the heavy antimatter, we can f use all of our um, hover and then still be uh, good on weight. That's an option, too. Uh, I don't really want to throw the other one away, though. Uh, if only because then we'd have no spare. Oh, 5 out of 15 inventory space. That's true, too. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot I put on the storage unit. 
Alright. Completely forgot I have a storage now. I was limiting myself to five. Streamer syndrome's hitting hard, yes. Uh, at least I rem did put that on earlier, right? check it out. There's still piercing weapons up here. Uh, I don't know what else is out in this room, though. Please don't be enemies. <laughs> also, I'm gonna shoot that guy, because there's nothing else to he can warn right now, right? Right? Okay. Uh, we've got... There's a prototype hover unit. Two of them. Huh. There's a prototype device and several prototype energy guns. Also a cargo storage unit. Big massive thing, which we're never gonna carry with this build. We could've carried that with our old build though. Oh, there's an enemy. Corrupt the recycler, do it. <laughs> well, I already shot him, he's, uh, he's fine. But now this guy's gonna spot us. And I don't really wanna, I don't think we can he can, you know what, if this guy spots us, I was going to say he can warn the swarmers, but we have an active transmission jammer, so he can't. He's in range. More programmers. Also, isn't there an assault coming after us still? <laughs> oh, you're saying because, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. This guy's got a bunch of stuff in his inventory. That's true. It's not I too late to shoot him now. I could have done it earlier. You're right. I forgot about that. Where's the programmer? What the hell are you doing? Here he is. Oh, okay. He replaced our reactor for us. Placed a lot of our stuff because we're like a walking programmer. Well, we're a hovering programmer right now. Uh, dropping extra stuff in my inventory here. Okay, that was one I think we're gonna have to face anyway. That's that. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the actual. Well, that was probably the cell that was sent after us. Yeah, uh, we need to run away from this. We don't need to fight those guys, but we're going to have to get all this loot. It's kind of hard. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? We don't. It's not going to be hard because we're going to speed up. Well, that's not changed much, but a programmer playing... <laughs> Jack Knight. A programmer playing is a programmer in a game made by a programmer, which is the programmer who created the programmers. <laughs> could that be any longer? I'm sure it could. Uh, you only need four items here? Yeah, what I want to do, we want to grab these four items and then run away basically. The problem is, I'd like, I kind of want to know what these are. These could be really good. But um, the problem is we're heading north into unknown territory, which is kind of dangerous. All right, so enhanced gamma force, yeah. There's, it's, there's a lot of possibilities for what these are, so it's hard to say if they're good. These are definitely good though, these four. We know that's good. We, this could be good. It's probably good, but we don't have time for everything. So I guess, and we have the inventory space. So as long as we don't get really screwed up here, we should just grab these things and run. Uh, I have full matter. Here we go. Grab, 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 grab. Actually, I have the space for it. I'll get the keys up. Well, I don't want to push it too far. I'm going to pick up one of them. Oh, I've got one of them. Armored medium treads. Okay. Could speed up a little more here, but I don't know if it's really worth doing that at this point. Also, we can find out what the ho prototype hover is. It could mess or build up if it's wrong, but... What? Oh, component analysis? Y yeah, that's true. We could use that. I don't really think we're trying to run away from enemies right now and I don't know if it's really worth is it worth grabbing that on the way over um, I guess it could work all right we'll do it for fun sure uh, mess your build up how they're non faulty oh I forgot about that I forgot that change you're right 
Uh, Hall or loot could originally be faulty. It can't anymore. I changed that. Um, so you're right. They can't be faulty. All we we don't have to worry about that then, and we don't have to worry about analyzing them either, uh, because we know they're not faulty. <laughs> uh, it's just a case of whether or not, or whenever we want to use them then. <laughs> only imprint bad gets faulty haulers. <laughs> Uh, only, only one, uh, imprint, uh, imprinted, uh, resupplies can only have one faulty item. Max. They might have none, but max. Oh, yeah, dead end. As expected. <laughs> Alright, there's a room to the west. Can probably just slice through the wall and keep going. Oh, massive headache. Sorry to hear it, Salamander. Alright. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And the sub. We're gonna, we'll see you later. There's a dig here, says Luigi. Yeah, that dig is not to the north, that's for sure. We're probably at a, a dead end area. We're gonna have to go past the behemoth maybe, but we'll see. You're not leaving? What? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. That sounded like you were leaving, Salamander. Salamander said it's helping with your headache. Salamander staying, this this is actually helping with your headache. That's usually the opposite of what people say about Cogmind, but I guess you don't always have to constantly be looking at everything on the screen too. You can just uh you could just listen, right? As I describe every moment of sheer terror as we try to survive research. <laughs> Vector says I should quit streaming and get into healthcare. <laughs> hey, I, I have gotten some very heartening emails from people who have, you know, gone through some really, really bad times with their health, and uh, and Cogmind helped them through it. And that's one of the, you know, a lot of the things with the, when it, developers, um, one of the things, especially with, you know, just entertaining game developers, you know, you're, a lot of the, one of the questions you ask yourself, uh, sometimes out loud in public, you see it in the in the dev community, is, you know, why am I doing this? Is it is it really meaningful? Um, is it helpful? And it's always nice to to see those people for whom it's super meaningful, right? Not just, I mean, I think it does have a lot of, obviously, some meaning in an entertainment sense. People need to be entertained and, you know, have other ways to stretch your brain and, and, and cool off, or I mean, Cogmind's not a super cool off game, but, you know, other ways to stretch your brain. But then there's also the other people for whom, you know, it really helped them through something. Um, uh, I've gotten some people who, yeah, super wholesome. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to see that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, you know, I never really, it's not, it's not, I don't know, it's not something that I've read a lot online, like in public. People don't seem to talk about that quite as much in public, but I get private emails about that sort of thing. So yeah, those are, those are really heartening. Um, yeah, that's good stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you, Jack9. <laughs> GG says Cogman is a super cool off game. That's only once you've internalized every single bit in the in the mechanics and code, GJ. <laughs> G the entire game of Cogmind is like a riff bot uh, sitting in uh, in a garrison when it comes to GJ playing, right? Uh, that's true, Vectus. It's very intimidating to talk about how stuff helped you. That's true. Not everyone would be willing to do that, especially in a public forum. It's it's a lot less like so. It's le you're less likely to see that kind of thing, but privately, people talk about that sort of stuff. So, anyway, all right. There's uh, enemies to the south. I kind of want to just cross over and pop into this room to our west. I don't know how deep the room is, but to be honest, well. I don't think the room goes all the way up here, so I kind of got to move south a little to make sure I get into the room, because otherwise I might end up chopping a wall up here and uh, having to do it again lower on down. <laughs> GJ was forced to go to roguelike school 12 hours a day at the age of six to get to this point. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Cogmind especially too. It has a is a really good community. <laughs> Salamander wants to go to Rogue Lake School. All right, I'm gonna get shot a few times here. Got at oh shoot, been actually shopping. Okay, gotta put on some more cover there. Meeting with a gamer. Oh, so going straight across would have worked, but I didn't want to gamble that. Oh, an advanced force field. I don't have the energy, but it's nice. I will accept it into my inventory. All right, 
This might be a situation where there's no room to the west. Oh, all right, there is. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this risk. Luigi, are you watching? Bless us. Okay, oh God, it's an eye. <laughs> okay, this eye is gonna tell the big, oh no, we have a transmission chamber, right? Yes. Prepare to block the eye. Block, block, block. <laughs> jamming, jamming. Oh shoot, that was a mistake. I thought the eye was in a different spot. Okay. Um, that did sort of, that didn't quite go as, as I planned because I shot, I accidentally hit the eye. I was supposed to step out of the way, but I didn't realize he moved to the south of me. Um, cause he was gonna try and go through the opening I made. <laughs> I should have moved southwest and I would have even gotten shot there. That was unnecessary damage. Yeah, we sure jammed that eye. <laughs> Perfect, right? Got totally jammed. My first worry was that he was going to tell the behemoth we're here, and then he's going to start shooting out the walls to the south. It probably wouldn't have mattered too much because we're fast enough, and he's he's kind of around the edge. He'd have to move out a bit. But anyway, the engineer is helpful. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the bits, Spectus. Spectus is uh, happy with that. What flavor of jam? The uh, the scythe flavor. All right, we're gonna now get the heck out of here. What are we doing here? We're hot. Why are we hot? We just got a heat flow error. That's why I was gonna say. <laughs> what is going on here? Um, yeah, some scythe flavor jam. <laughs> Uh, all right, we are currently doing good energy. Might be a good idea to check out what the other hover units are. Cooled linear grab jets. Okay, that's kind of expensive. It moves us fast though. We can go down to 33 on that. We're gonna run out of energy. Might be a good idea to. Well, no, we have it in Edward, right? It's already full in our inventory. I was gonna say we might want to put on an energy well. But we could pop that on later, I think. Put on the plasma lancers too. Probably, yeah. I kind of, kind of maybe want to have the gamma rifle, or until I actually have to fight something, though. Plasma lance. Yeah, just so that I can shoot stuff. Before you leave the floor, could you do a favor and take an ASCII map export and send it to me after the stream? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what do you need that for? <laughs> I, I will gladly do that. Do you mean like, uh, uh, we have to first, oh, we're not going to die at least, so we'll wait. Yeah, we can do that. Um, <laughs> when I first played Cogmine, I evolved power early. Oh, Chris, I when I first found Cogline, I really get sucked into it due to how novel its mechanics were in comparison to the roguelikes. Later, I got invested further to watching the celebration talk. Ah, pretty passion, yes. Uh. Yeah, Jack Nine. Yeah, I figured. I was just curious. Jack Nine, when people ask for weird resources like that, it's for art. <laughs> we're not going to die. All right, we're going we're gonna to try not to die. Uh, I wonder what our alert is. Ooh, check it out. Corridor. Uh, this fabricator's been busy. Advanced terrain scanner. Hmm. I don't have enough energy to run that. Uh, what happened? Those guys behind us, they're going to take a little while to get here. We can lose them. We just got to keep going west without dallying too long. Alert is exactly two. It's probably somewhere thereabouts. Oh, also there's a machine analyzer. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's analyze some machines. We're definitely going into this room now. Uh, train scanner. We don't have anything we want to build. I wouldn't be on a stay to build something anyway, but... Optical array. Assault drones. That would actually be kind of cool to have. High capacity storage. No. Rainbow chip. Yes. Uh, train scanner. I kind of want to use the train scanner too. That plus the machine analyzer will kind of help us out here. Uh, we have enough room. It'll just be some power train, but I am going to continue to use our speed here, even though it's going to drain us a bit. Dispersion rifle. We're going to have to stick to melee for a while, so. Boom. 
give us the rainbow. All right. I have a paragraph while my phone dies. It's long. Yeah. Uh, trying to make a perfect roguelike. Yeah. Well, with roguelikes in the long term, it's cool when you, as long as you've got a good community behind the game, and uh, you know, it's oh, this area to the north looks great. It, you know, if you have a good community behind the game, um, it really helps a lot. Um, and you know, that's why a lot of roguelikes end up getting developed, you know, for ten years and beyond. Just a lot of people keep playing, and you know, it's always nice to just keep keep expanding, keep perfecting. Um, Otherwise, I didn't quite expect to be working on it for this long, that's for sure. Um, oh, well, I know, from the beginning it was meant to be a, a couple of years, maybe. But, uh... I'm just trying to see where we are here on the map. We actually made it all the way to the top side. We're not far from the exit. An exit. It's simple, the answer is low. Yes, Machine Analyzer did good. We can tell now there's an, a an exit to the north from our Machine Analyzer. We kind of want to go through that wall. Because it'll get us to a new area. Damn! I really wish there was an engineer nearby. <laughs> Does a complex bot carry machine analyzer? Yes, yes, the uh, the uh, mechanic. The mechanic is your source of machine analyzers. Um, we went through that earlier. A little combat anti-grav. Okay. Now is the time, I think, where we just kill these guys, probably. <laughs> Graduate from roguelikers to rogue lovers. Yeah, we're going to lance this guy. Uh, let's add another lance to our lance collection. Well, I think we should have this. We should be using the scythe, though, probably. I don't actually know if the time is on either. Well, I don't know. People like plasma lance because of the core thing. Our, technically, our scythe does more damage, but 5% puncture on this thing. This thing has a 15% sever. And also, you can check the uh, delay on them. They're equal. No, I love FLK. Please don't nerf. Oh, we're not planning on nerfing that. It's a unique item, so, and you don't get every one. There's, no, don't really, not gonna nerf that one. I am gonna go back and revisit Exiles items, but that one in particular, I don't see a reason to nerf it at all. Yeah, people like piercing because of the core. Um, doubles or exposure value and hit location calculations. Yeah, that's 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 probably, probably want to use a plasma lands. Nerf FLK by adding more garbage items into the pool. <laughs> no, I just need to kind of slightly balance some of the items that are a little too good. And maybe buff something that's not good enough. I don't know. Uh, but I haven't looked at it yet. It's on the beta 11 list. It's one of the things that'll be happening for too long. Here comes the engineer. There's another engineer down there, too. Oh, shoot, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, yes, engineers to the rescue. No, there's a hidden door. <laughs> right over there. Force field time? No. Well, what, what, do we really want a force field? I don't think so. I mean, we have an energy well. We could pop on an energy well and a force field, but do we really want that? We are going to get really beat up here, but it would drop a lot of our other stuff, but, um... You think so, Jack9? I don't know. I, I think our energy situation is not great. By the time we've attached those things... Um, what's the cost of force fueling? Eh. This one here is a 1 to 5 ratio. And these guys... We know what their weapon is here. They're doing 22 to 25 damage. Um, we can't, it's not sustainable. It's not really worth it. It would only last a very short time. Uh, well, you should, we're going to kill these guys before too long. FF is the only problem if you're using heavy energy weapons. Not the case in melee. Yeah, but remember, we don't have much... We're not, we're not generating much energy. It's just going to run down the energy well and all our energy really quick. It's not damage heavy, but we're literally going to be getting hit by 50 damage every turn. 50 damage per turn uh, times 5 is 250 energy to 
Well, no, we only take half of it. So, you know, it's going to be over 100. Mm. You need to optimize every bit of damage you take. Yeah, um, it's, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to really be necessary. It also, what it really depends on is how long this battle is going to last. I could get lucky and just kill these guys really fast. Um, what have they got on their core? 50 core. We can look, mm, chance is not high. Say we could. All, all, I'd like to say we could almost one hit these guys, but the melee weapons are getting crit off anyways. No, they're not. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But um, also, we have to spend turns to attach the force field, and that's extra time we're taking yet more hits. All right. Uh, I don't. Progs don't have destroy crit. No, they don't anymore. A saying that's highly unlikely makes it more likely. <laughs> um, force field on. Hmm. So far that's actually not that bad. Only got hit once though. Yes. No. We're going. We're going. We're good. We're actually trying it. I'm checking out our energy costs and whatnot. We're actually going to do better. What we can do is shut off all of our hover systems except for one. Because it, having more of them on is only giving us a tiny bit of extra avoidance. And they're draining a lot of energy. So we can actually retain a whole bunch and get most of our out of our particle reactor by leading one on, and I think that could work fine. In fact, we don't even need the energy well yet. What I'm going to try to do is get by without the energy well, turn by turn, and see what happens. Well, a miss. Uh, another miss. 145. 65. Okay, that was worse. I think it's because he hit us with more stuff. All right, we're going to have to swap in the energy well. 40, 441. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Yeah, now we turn off the forest field, that's for sure. Oh my god, if I didn't turn that off, we'd get so screwed here. Alright, that's... this is... I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, shoot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to get the hell out of here really fast. Can't even overload that to solve this problem. Um, wait a minute. Oh, I have the other one in the inventory. If we overload one of these, we won't be overweight anymore. And that's the quickest way to get us out of here fast. Attached to prop uses as a shield. Yeah, I attached one of the grab jets uh, because rather than spending the turns to attach two or two of the other ones or something, because uh, we can overload one. Don't really mind at this point. It's this is what they're for is emergency situations. <laughs> and now we need to get the hell out of here. Goodbye. That was not expected. Tesla rifle and corruption screen. Alright, uh, there should not be an exit to the east. It's probably the dead-end room. We should be able to get west, though. There should be an exit over here somewhere. Oh, shoot. Forgot about that guy. That's right. He's still alive and chasing us from a different direction. Oh, 
unknown protection. Hmm. I wonder if that's like propulsion shielding. Mass 12? Huh. Okay, no, that's some kind of heavy armor or whatever. We're at 35. Huh? We're a little faster than programmers right now. Shoot, there's an exit somewhere nearby. Oh, use the KI resist armor? Wow, Jack9, your memory's that good? <laughs> Advan was that not advanced powered armor? Oh, it wouldn't really work for us anyway, right? I mean, whatever it is, you can't use any stuff now. Any of that stuff. Well, I could actually put it in my inventory, but I'm trying to get away from these problems, so. I just remember the reactive plating is heavy. Oh, uh, right, yes. Yeah, so well, there's a lot of other heavy ones too, though. Well, it's not quite that heavy. I think most of them are a little lighter, but you know, any heavy armors are over 10. Oh, let me think here. South or west? West would give us more distance. South might be a little more dangerous, but it's also... Uh, west. Shoot, stop that. Thermal shield. Mm. Antimatter reactor. Phase shifter. Still overweight with that. Shoot. Phase shifter. You can equip the unequipped. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Uh, I, in fact, I completely forgot how heavy the advanced force field is. Didn't even need that on anymore. Whoops, I totally forgot how heavy that is. That would have been smarter to just pull that off earlier than doing the other other stuff, actually. Much better. Uh, okay, now we can drop down. Whoops, no, not yet. There we go. Drop down a bit. And we can regain a little extra energy that way. Because, yeah, we're certainly not going to be able to use that. Can try to refill our energy well, which might be smarter to do from the inventory, but yeah. Alright. We got in here now, just a heat sink. Phase shifter. Now there's room for the phase shifter, which uh, I don't know if we have power for it, but it might help later. It'll put us a little down, but we don't need it just yet. What else do we have that's running? Do we we can even generate heat? We don't need to need that on. I'd like to leave the train scanner on. But we don't need the heat sink on. And now we've got extra power. Oh wait, I also turned on the, off the jammer. Yeah, that's kind of an iffy one. Because it's mainly, yeah, I can always, with a jammer you can turn it on before you open doors in front of you, but if there's something chasing you, it might alert something that's behind you um, when it comes through the, unexpectedly, or even in front of you. I mean, it's something that suddenly comes through the door and you don't have your jammer on, uh, you might not have time to turn it on. Tier 1 phase shift is more armor than evasion. <laughs> uh, yeah, it actually is not a whole lot. Energy alert. Yeah, we're positive though. High capacity storage, antimatter. Hey, we'll be, is there an exit around the corner? Nope. Shoot. We're, we're, there's an exit around here somewhere, I think. thruster. A micro nuke and a heavy. It would be funny to go after the heavy with melee stuff, huh? Uh, he would rip us to pieces though, considering we have very little coverage here. <laughs> Is that an exit? Oh, you know what? That's the other thing about heavies. They, could, they can stand on exits. There's... Uh, he might be sitting on an exit. You're right. That's that's an interesting dilemma. <laughs> um, hmm. I think it's, it, maybe we should try that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's. Mm, 
Oh. I, we know where Armory was? When do, I didn't remember. didn't know we knew where Armory was. We got that from uh, some derelict intel a long time ago or something? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta take notes when I say there's an exit nearby, because he knows. <laughs> yeah. I, there is some. Uh, there is an exit nearby here, I'm pretty sure. Time to hit up Al, right. Uh, Armory would be pretty terrible, huh? Armory has gotten more dangerous now, because there's... I mean, it was already kind of dangerous, but it's probably gotten even more dangerous because there's a heavy. And being a longer map, it's rather hard to avoid the heavy. Uh, or avoid his sensors. You have to move through... You have to hope these kind of towards an edge of the map, and you can either go across the other edge or move through his sensors more quickly, if you don't want to face them. Um... Because there's already a lot of danger in the armory, even without the heavy. Huh. Mm, armory. There's a main exit probably somewhere nearby. Actually, it would have been kind of nice to save. Oh, I, for, I should have turned on the phase shifter. I completely forgot. Whatever, phase shifter. Now it doesn't need to be on. Another Q thruster. not on an exit. We have established that. <laughs> I probably, the exit could, yeah, I don't know, it's probably over there somewhere. Uh, there's, there's, it's, I would like to fully explore this whole little area in here, but alright, well, he's not on an exit. Now we gotta go armory. Mm, it's getting closer! I'm so die in armory, though. Well, we could just run away from everything, maybe. Uh, let me think here. Alright, programmer. Make your move. Literally. Shoot. I thought I could get away if he maybe attacked first, but no. Gotta watch your energy here. Prototype storage. That hurt. He shot the phase shifter! Enhanced force lance and a prototype launcher and a dead end. Post heavy armory, yeah, we'll see. Thank you, nice Luigi. <laughs> uh, Luigi says, "There's a dig here. I can feel it." <laughs> I don't know. Our machine analyzer did not reveal anything. Our terrain scanner has only currently revealed the corner up here, which is Earth, and that's not promising. But it's also way off to the side, so it's hard to tell. I don't know, but there's a corridor definitely heading through here. If there's a room on the top side of it, then yes, this could be a dig. The west is more iffy. Prototype launcher, I kind of want to know what that is. Southwest looks nice. Mm. It's kind of iffy. We're going to get trapped in here with a programmer on our tail. Honestly, it's not too bad. We could really kill the programmer, and the rest of the guys are already gone, so. Oh. Yep, I saw that flash. It's, there's a room. <laughs> In my experience, there's not a dig at all here, says Plexion. <laughs> all right, there is definitely a dig, yes. There he is. We're gonna dig it. Get the hell out of my way. All right, compact her. <laughs> there was. I knew there was, Vectus, because uh, you guys didn't spot it, but the terrain scanner revealed an empty space here. I mean, some of you might not have spotted it. I saw it after the fact. Um, once we got over here, uh, when, once I was standing there in the room, Luigi subconscious spotted it. Luigi spotted it before the terrain scanner did. 
<laughs> Look more like ASCII hacks. Yeah, it's because I do agree that when you your terrain scanner spots an open space in tiles mode, the darkness of the background can make it harder to see. So, yeah, I switched to ASCII to check the dot, because see this dot here? Our terrain scanner picks that dot up. Uh, you can see it on the on the map here. Now, in tiles mode, um, technically, we know about it, but it's you can barely see that. And it's been brought up a couple times before. Um, I guess, ideally, it's something we want to deal with, kind of like the, you know, the cave issue, which I still haven't done anything with. I put a lot of time into trying to design alternatives for the uh, cave wall versus um, earth issue. It's just... Uh, it's a hard one to solve while sticking within the parameters I've wanted to stick within. So, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, there isn't technically an exit here. I mean, a, a, an open space, not exit. Um, but it, which is much easier to see in ASCII, even though it's still rather dark, but um, it's still easier because of the way background tiles need to work in the tiles mode in terms of their brightness. Do you are you, do you play? I don't remember. Do you, do you play in ASCII mode or not? I, I guess you don't. That means you're playing in tiles mode, right? Um, your screenshots are in tiles. That's it. That's right. You're not doing that just for the good of, of people who want to actually understand your screenshots. <laughs> All right, we're we're getting close to I guess the armory. Hmm. You need to get out of my way. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, these guys we aren't going to be able to run from. Oh, I'm very tempted to shoot a nuke at them though. That swarmer is small enough. Okay. Buy a room full of swarmers. <laughs> I like how they're small and you can just shoot right around them. Uh, didn't get one of them at least, but I know some of the other ones died. Hmm. Rest of these guys are in perfect shape. overloading these guys <laughs> basically for the extra speed micro nuke is armor right now I can't say that's a good thing because we might lose it we do have another launcher though I wonder if it's a good one Found a warden and a lance. He's gonna shoot me when I walk through here. Uh oh. He bravely attacks the garrison, which has uh, got an ARC outside of it. <laughs> it's a dead end. Shoot. Not good. There's an exit? What? Well, yeah, there's the exit over there. It's getting closer. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's also not good stuff down in here. Damn it. Mm. Luckily, two of these guys can't actually hit us. Time to riff up. <laughs> we can't even hack through that thing. All right. Uh, shoot. All right. We're going to actually continue going forward. Alright, that was pretty awesome. Dead end room. Dead end room with a bit of a dig behind it. Question is, how do we get all the way to that exit? There is some space over here. This is at least, at the very least, is probably going to be a five tile dig. Which seems kind of dangerous. Oh, 2%, never mind. 
Check zone layout. Oh, that was a smarter idea. That's okay. I don't need it anymore. We already made it through. <laughs> um, hmm. The director. Hello, Mr. Director. Why is there a protector over here? Oh, he's super damaged. He's from the earlier fight. Wow. That's like, that's like from a really early fight. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Okay, that was a bad move. I should have stepped southwest. Oh, how do I get to the exit? Where is that exit? I kind of want that power source that's on the ground in that room, but... We've got too many guys chasing us to go for it. I'm gonna have to go around the corner over here. Go, 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 go. Oh, operators. Safe as can be for anyone entering armory when you're beat to crap. And we're running around on our linear grab jets. Uh, They've been overloaded for quite a while, <laughs> but at least overloading is a lot more balanced now. Uh, that, that really put, did a number on them, whereas before you could really overload them for a very, very long time. Yeah, this is fine. Easy hunter allies go. Yeah, that's the question. Are we gonna run into allies or enemies? Um, that's the thing about armor. You could end up with some a nice little army of your own or uh, have to face even more bots or at least try and avoid bots. I should probably find out what some of this stuff in my inventory is, at least the launcher. Let's check what the launcher is. Oh, okay, that's not bad. I figured it would be something we could replace the nuke with, so... I did wasn't too... I used the nuke as armor there. Alright, see you later, Luigi. Getting sleepy, huh? <clears throat> yeah, check the... check the VOD later. I can't imagine us actually surviving armory, but you never know. Ooh, machine analyzer. Mm, I love it. Why are we using PowerWise terrain scanner? All right, I'll leave it on. Regain some energy now. <laughs> that happens, Plexion. Yeah going into armory and there's only a single path through like five patrols that refuse to leave. That can happen. It's it's dangerous like that. Point defense. Also, this guy's got his machine analyzer, as you can see. Uh, so, gotta remember the mechanics are your source of uh, either recalibrators or machine analyzers. Actually, I kind of want to kill this guy's first engine. Light angular momentum would be we wouldn't have any backup engine. And without a backup engine, it would, our entire build will fall apart if our antimatter reactor is destroyed. So, it might be worth killing this guy right now. Picking up his reactor. Everything according to plan. You should grab the PD. Oh, demo patrols are not a meme? Uh, are there really? Oh, yeah, there are demo patrols in here. Huh. Uh, yeah, demos are possible. Alright, yeah, I guess we'll take it. Please, no patrols. That is a lot of Nova. <laughs> oh my god. This room is just like radiating thermal energy. Mm, that's a lot of firepower. A lot, a lot of firepower. A lot, a lot of firepower. We actually have quite a lot of firepower right now. If we could just grab some treads, we could rebuild and do a powerful combat bot. Well, except the lack of armor would kind of suck, but not be too worrisome because we also have... Oh, we have got treads. Oh, what is in here? Who knows? What is... 30 reinforced shell. Oh. 
there's the other side too. Oh, damn it. You're not a friend. I want this guy's visual sensors. Shoot, he's running away. Okay, I'm not gonna get him. Actually, I might have been able to catch him if I sped up. Another one. Oh no, how fast are these guys? 32. 27, I can move faster than them if I overload. Oh man, this is not good. I can only move faster than them a little bit. It's okay, take the hits. Dude, if they blow off our, our propulsion, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. Well, they, can, they won't blow off too much of it. We'll probably still be okay, but uh, I'd rather, I'd rather just destroy them. The thing is, you're gonna have to get far enough away. Just put it back on. Yeah, but I'll lose two of them. They damage it too. just alpha strike them before they hit you. Yeah, well, that, my idea was here was to see how fast I could go and speed away from them and then attach, uh, drop them now then. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but then they'll hit other stuff. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to see if I could speed away from them and then uh, attach a launcher. And the other option is, but I can use my speed the other thing I'm going to use my speed for is, um, if I want to, I could throw on other random stuff to keep it from getting damaged, like another heat sink, for example. That guy got here fast. <laughs> ah, it's on the ground. Go ahead, do it again. Great. Well, that didn't come out very well. Uh, hmm. Approaching. Oh, I didn't get him yet. Shoot, he's gonna start getting into our loot area. Oh, well, we're gonna completely miss. We hit who knows what. Medium armor. Prop shielding. Segregator. Segregator. Uh, <laughs> I'm tempted to grab the segregator and this ion engine. Going mad with power here. Yeah, I, the thing is, if I there's nowhere to run in armory, so the option is basically try to kill them all. Um, equip thermals and kill. Oh, that, that's an idea too. Uh, I would have to also throw on the heat sink. How much energy he's got? Down to yellow. The other option I was thinking would be kind of fun is to grab the segregator and this ion engine to blow him off, blow his stuff off, but that could also just end up being a problem. Add a riff installer to armory. Mm. You just want another ability, Vectus. <laughs> Do we have the energy and heat? Let's try this. everything. <laughs> this thing got rejected. Crap, okay, I need to back up. <laughs> oh wait, 
really slow. Shoot, we're slow. 98. No Damn it, it's because we lost that. It's on the ground now. Wow, his heavy armor plating got destroyed. Mm. Well, he got blown to smithereens finally. Large storage. Uh, grab this again. Whoops. Okay. Wrong spot. Hmm. Um. Got a super riff and seller. It gives you all riff abilities, but you're assimilated to the complex, so you lose the game. <laughs> That's a good idea. GJ says if you find another ground squad, melee them for a leg switch. Yeah, we do really need to switch to uh, some ground propulsion here. Uh, we've got uh, enough other stuff to to support that. We've only got 600 core though, so we're getting we're getting pretty low on that. Really exposed right now. Mm. Yeah. Bunch of hyper velocity, hyper velocity railguns, some armor, which is really damaged now. More hyper velocity railguns. Looks like the room to the east is kind of empty. And I don't see this working out too well. Oh man, that's even worse. Stick to the edge then. Uh oh, warden. Yeah, I already know where the exits are anyway. Mm. One option here would be to use the proton cannon to like try to, well, we get super corrupted. We're already at 39. I was gonna say, if we didn't have corrupt, we could try to corrupt him so we get all of his loot. And then we could use his treads and our leg and his weapons and stuff to kind of start rebuilding that way. Hey, Salamander, we are in armory. Lab moment, not a lab moment. Just trying to survive. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize also we're down to really low on matter now. Could just try to just plasma lance the guy, but trying to plus one to lab moment. We're not going to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> the true lab is the experiments we did along the way. Exactly. Such a good point. We, we've done so much uh, experimenting along the way. Um, it's been a pretty interesting run so far. We can't really afford to lose any more of our propulsion. So the option here is to keep running west, in which case we're going to be running a lot. Or just take this guy out and take his stuff. Damn it, Mr. Rector. Where's this guy going? Whoops, he didn't actually. Go there. Wow, he hit a plasma lance. Get 
a lot of misdirects. Huge storage units, like an force field. Prototype launcher. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff in this room. Check this room out. If only there was a little more propulsion in here. This is wow. This, this room seems good. <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot I'm in ASCII mode, too. <laughs> to me, it's all the same. Um, sorry, we're switching back. Um, I've been in that mode for a while now. Whoops. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, a lot of good, nice stuff in here. Wow. Yeah, killing sentries looks like a good idea now. Like a really good idea. I like that idea. Uh, grab this slashing weapon down here. I still have another more in my inventory actually. Still got a scythe and the force lance. So we're in good shape for slashing. Oh. What's this one? Oh, this is a double slot. Hmm. Centrium greatsword. For the armor! It's our, our armor weapon. <laughs> Zayich with the question is there a Michael Jordan a Wayne Gretzky a Lionel Messi of Cogmind uh, you, he's in the chat right now <laughs> alright um... okay I guess I can leave the rest of the stuff on the ground while I mess with up these guys. The, the sentry to the north didn't actually see us. Actually, did the other sentry go back yet? Is he leaving? No, he's still coming. Okay. save time I could attack this one first. It could mean bad things if the other one reaches us before we've actually killed this one. It shouldn't take that long to kill this guy though. Oh look at that. There's a way through the wall here. Glad you've come around to melee hover. Hey, I love all forms of melee builds. <clears throat> oh shoot. <laughs> okay, that is just incredibly not cool. <laughs> Assistant backup modules already f done its job by reducing our corruption from like 40 to 35. <laughs> Plus one of melee legs. Favorite, your favorite play style, Flexing? Yeah, I really like it. Melee, melee builds are pretty fun. Um, oh, hey, Rain. Um, yeah, I really like uh, melee builds as well. Uh, oh, I didn't pick up the prototype impact. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I just didn't see it there. I would totally, uh, I, I, we already have enough of the other stuff already. I have more even in my inventory. But also we were going after sentries at the time, which makes that less desirable. Uh, and I impact can be pretty good though. I would, I would be happy to use it. All right, let's, um, Warden, all right, this is gonna, this is gonna go to hell in a second. All right, that's all. The only other utility I lost was the uh, the, the uh, backup module, which just expended itself. That's fine. All right, we can't actually do anything else here. That just got to get rid of the sentry first. Who is still in great shape? Of course. Um, time to charge him. Ouch! Please die! Ouch! Please die faster! Yep, there's the other sentry. Hey, wait! I didn't ever. I never imagined the other sentry could help us kill this guy. <laughs> that actually worked in our favor. All right, so there is now. Well, he dropped one treads and his armor, which we can't use unless we pick up the treads. 
So I don't think we can switch yet, but we're getting close to a point where we're gonna get hit enough that we're gonna not be able to move around with all of our stuff shortly. I like where we are now, specifically because the hunter can't, he has to shoot through a wall to get to us. Now I go after the hunter, says Jack Knight, really? I don't know. I like, I like leaving hunters in some situations, particularly because you can use walls as like free armor. Um, melee treads when mm, melee treads works too. I like uh, I I generally prefer legs, but <laughs> uh, also rain the you know the impact was even buffed in other ways too. I think it was in even back in beta ten with uh, it's really effective for smashing down uh, doors and stuff. Now it gets a bonus, um, so it's it's one of its advantages. Even weaker ones, or the more basic ones can blast, can whack through a lot of stuff. So yeah, it's still getting, and plus it's got new crits as well, and new, it's got a really powerful new crit ability into the new system, so they're, 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 they're good. They're, they're worth using. Um, they're maybe not gonna be better than the other types, depending on your build, but, and most people probably still avoid them when they have the option, but if you have to use them, they're not that bad. Okay, so yeah, now it's a choice of who we want to go after first. I prefer to go after the sentry, actually. This way. So the hunters now have to shoot through the wall. They did manage to shoot through the wall. <laughs> but I think that was better than going after the hunters first. Oh, hey, Yubin. Ah, oh, finally caught a stream. <laughs> uh, uh, it's going, it's, I'm doing well, Chad is doing well, our build, not so well. Uh, but we're, we might get a chance to rebuild here in a moment, uh, after I take out these hunters. Rebuilt so many times in this run. All right, our current, we are now overweight. All right, how do we get not overweight? We've got, technically we don't need the power. I could actually take off. We could, uh, wait, what is that? 5144? Yeah, I could switch to uh, the other engine, actually. And we'd be underweight. Take an extra turn here, but. No, well, now we're overweight again. <laughs> we're in the process of swapping engines, and they blow off one of the inverters. <laughs> Yeah, corruption was higher earlier, actually, and lowered it a bit. We've been corrupted for a long time, because we're, uh... Actually, lowered it down to zero from a really high number when we found some restoration modules, but then it got pushed back up again when I had to face off against a bunch of programmers, but I wasn't actually shooting the programmers, I was shooting all their friends instead first, so... Uh, the kiting's... Just need to drive them up to a wall if you don't have a doorway. Yeah, exactly, that's what I like about the, uh, hunters. Um... There's, that's the one advantage of trying to take them on. Okay, now I gotta check my weight again. I'd like to move towards the hunters without them blowing me to pieces. <sighs> I'm not gonna have anything left. Um, is there current? Wow, our mass is 42 on the biometal leg. I'm getting close to where we're just gonna have so, lost so much stuff. We can just, we can put on a leg. Actually, if we put on a leg, or we're 102 right now. I'm just going to leave it like we are, I think. Time to hope the proto launcher is a compact Tesla. Uh, you know, that's what we need is more. Uh, uh, wait, wait, oh, the one in the room. Yeah, that's what we need is more. Um, more corruption. Stop that. Oh, my God. There's a swordsman in there, too. Oh, shoot. We're so dead. All right. Now we're dead. <laughs> Uh, look like a drop storage moment. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, I didn't expect this guy to be here. If it was just two hunters, okay, that's cool. This guy, no, not cool. <laughs> this guy's anything but cool. Uh, we could, we'd have to get really lucky to core him. Um, More of a Benny Hill to the exit moment, you think? Uh, oh, we're down to 500 core. How 
want to grab all this stuff though. We'd have to lose. We're gonna have to lose our storage. We'd have to put up, drop everything. We're gonna lose the storage. Oh, this is terrible. No. Uh, we're still close. Really close though. If those hunters hadn't shown up, taking out both of those sentries, which was the, that was the easy part. Uh, we could have just rebuilt with the remains of the sentries and the stuff here, and we'd now have a combat bot and be able to make it to the exit much more easily. I think. This is not really gonna work. <laughs> that guy just got crit by his friend. It was, it was pretty cute, actually. Um, heavy armor plating. Wait, what is the, what's the uh, mass? 15 mass. Huh. Go ahead, do it. Yes, they did it! I was hoping they would destroy my Centrium Greatsword when I moved over there. <laughs> and it worked. Hoping worked. Light antimatter. Um, God, look at all these things. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of enhanced force lances. Um, hmm. And the other's layered medium armor. The armor's better fine with gyro kinetics. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's going to be too heavy, though. Well, I mean, I've got armor now. I'm gonna lose the armor I have, in fact. Which, by the time I get to that armor, I can lose, I can drop or lose the armor I have, and uh, put that on. Drop your enhanced force lance. Oh, uh, oh. Well, yes, yeah. I don't need that one either. Um, I'm really tempted to go east and overload the fabricator. But I bet if I try to do that, they're gonna miss me and destroy it. There's another fabricator to the west though, which would work, you know? Escaping before the progs arrive is, I don't think that's gonna be an option. Oh look, it's a heavy. Is he sitting on the exit? I think he's sitting on the exit. Yeah. That heavy's sitting on the exit. With sentry. Oh god, hello guys. Me being a mech warrior battletech fan and always demands I use legs for propulsion. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. I mean, I'm a big uh, mech warrior battletech fan myself. I mean, that's where the whole idea of Cogmine even came from to begin with, right? Uh, well, you might not know that, but yes, it was uh, making a Battletech roguelike um, of my own. And one of my favorite parts of Battletech was designing my own mechs. Um, so I spent a lot of time doing that. But And this is where you get to do it all the time, because you keep getting blown to pieces. Let's rebuild from this. Let's build. A, how can we build the best, you know, the best build, the most appropriate build for our strategy, given all this crap we have found? or the salvage, um, just in a completely different form, right? All right, so the option right now, uh, I could either blast, try to blast right through all these guys, or uh, I don't think it's really an option anymore. Go back, I was gonna say I can go north, 
Alright, there's, there's a couple different directions here. Uh, just go blast through them all to the exit. Other one would be to go way up here and around and let them chase me. They won't be able, they won't be able to hit me too much because they're going to be doing a lot of trying to doing a lot of leapfrogging and blocking each other. So we wouldn't actually take as many hits as it might feel like we would. The guys coming from the east, uh, they might become a problem actually because they're going to start coming. They probably rather than this, they're going to start trying to come through there. They might be able to actually do that. Depending on how fast we got over here, I didn't wasn't really calculating that. But the other option is to hit this wall here diagonally with a melee weapon. And then we could go through this room because there's a room here. There's probably comes down to here. We could destroy the wall, walk this way while they have to chase us around, which they might take a few minutes that way. Um, the container might be more enemies. Oh, you mean up there? It could be friends even, which would be super awesome, right? And the other way is to literally just, just go straight for this guy. Uh, there's going to be other guys around here. He's going to call for reinforcements. There's going to be all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a mess. Uh, 489 core, well, only 12% exposed, which is really good. Consider it's all because we got this armor. Look at that. Jared Kinetic inverters have almost no coverage here. One out of 119. The chances of them getting hit are very small. We have three platings and a spare one of our inventory. So we can probably just push right through all these guys. Part of the problem is, um, they're going to completely block us. We're going to have to ram one of them. In order to get a bead on us, I'm guessing... Well, they just fired, so maybe. We're going to try to get around them. Oh, here we go. oh my god, there's more of these guys. Oh, there's a swarmer, too. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, oh, misdirected. <laughs> I just got misdirected east, and now we're getting pushed back even further around all this stuff. The operator... As soon as I'm distressed, that's not a problem. The chance of getting hit is very small. Uh, things are changing. The, the situation is dynamic. <laughs> actually lost another inverter. Can you believe that? I can believe it. Um, I went, I shot the space, but I, I slashed the wall open behind me because then the swarmers couldn't fill it in immediately. Inverters are just bad, I guess. <laughs> God, mine is telling me the one out of 119 is approximately 30%. Well, also remember they're, they're really low integrity. They were already damaged. And um, we got three of them and that many guys firing at us. So when it comes down to it, the chances were not actually that small of losing them, uh, considering the number of enemies. I was originally thinking there were only three programmers that we had to deal with. But it turns out, no, there's a, another Swarmer squad too, and that's a lot of weapons. Um, that's the main problem. All right. All right, I can't get through here, unfortunately. Uh, oh, no, we're close, though. We're close. Given this scenario, I should have gone south through the do door. further from the exit now. Oh, it's too low. <laughs> the situation is dynamically approaching run for your life. Um, we haven't been running for our life yet. <laughs> gonna die to overload memes? Yeah, I, I wanted to do it. I had to try. I didn't realize it was only gonna be six. I thought we'd have a higher chance and at least and get it off. If we pulled that off, it would be pretty funny. Um, yeah, that's the wrong direction, though. Should have kept the teleport? No, no, no. We would have... I needed to use the teleport. We would have died in the research if I didn't teleport out of that other situation. It's worth the YOLO at this point. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh... Uh, let me see. Wait a minute. We can attach this can. Yeah. Uh, let's put this on. Let's put this on for our super low chance for our inverters to get taken down, right? I'm literally going south now. Oh god, it's a destroyer. Alright, he didn't see me, because I... Oh my god. At least I didn't get misdirected then, right? Wow. There's a lot of bots around here, suddenly. 
Here we go. I wouldn't mind the destroyer firing like a nuke over here real quick. Hello, destroyer. Goodbye, destroyer. Okay, lost both of our armors in one shot. 28% exposed. Gotta be kidding me. Oh! <laughs> I died one step from the stairs. Oh! And we can 100% blame it on the fact that I went for the fabricator instead of the exit. I thought it would be fun to zap everyone with the fabri fabricator overload because that's just fun to do, right? But and it was swarmers and programmers coming, which means that they couldn't actually destroy the machine, or at least the swarmers couldn't. The programmers actually could, but they wouldn't get there early enough anyway. It would probably blow up an engine. But anyway, that's the whole reason we died. It could have made it out otherwise. That was one turn away from the exit. <laughs> Even the game went, ah. <laughs> that was so close. Victim of your own plots. Uh, I don't know. I'd like to say that even though chat didn't quite tell me to do that one, uh, there was the influence, right? Yeah. So the, the, the way to survive <laughs> would have for sure been to go the north side uh, to the exit because we knew where the exit was already with the heavy. And um, and as we saw, there was obviously a lot more bots um, down there as well, which complicated things. If there weren't, we actually would have made it out too. Um, but also the extra distance covered. It almost worked. It was we're literally, I died as I stepped next to the exit. Uh, there was only two bots that had a, a sight, had a line of sight on us there. That was the heavy and the sentry. And I don't, I don't know. We'd have to see which one actually killed us. Uh, for that, let's we can check the uh, check the scores here. Uh, let me check. Go check our scores. Uh, score sheet. We can actually see in the score sheet. Uh, Marshall. All right. If we had to go down. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's the way to do it in the heavy hunting run, right? Destroyed by H-71 Marshall with heavy mass driver. We just got completely obliterated. <laughs> Betting on heavy, called it. Yeah. Yeah, that was... It didn't take... It wouldn't take a heavy... Wait, how much... What was the actual core we had left right before the exit? Was it even enough for a sentry to kill us? I mean, I guess if it hit him with all their weapons, it would be... Yeah, the... Uh, it's more likely that it would be the heavy. The thing is, heavies fire pretty quickly. Uh, they're really dangerous uh, enemies, um, even you know facing them on uh, facing them head on, just on their own, because they can fire really fast and they have a really destructive cannon. Um, I forgot about a cycler too. I guess. Well, I mean, it, just, it wouldn't have changed anything, but uh, yeah, the, the, it makes, it makes much more sense that it was the heavy that did that because they can attack a lot faster than a, a sentry can. <laughs> Bad Emperor, is that your fault? You joined a kid died in literally three seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Killed by a heavy. It's a good way to go. Uh, I killed several of their friends throughout the run. We didn't actually get to see the final heavies then. Uh, the final heavies would have started on the next floor when you get to fight the Overseer. But we did get to use the Mass Driver for a short, short bit. We actually used it against a, a, a Yaller group, and that was total chaos. But... Wow, that was fun. <laughs> How to deal with loss. Step two, blame Bad Emperor. Bad Emperor said, said we can blame him, basically. <laughs> All right. Hunted by a heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with 16 core, was it? Okay, GJ says we were at 16 core. Right? So anything could have killed us. It would, the, the hope there was just that some, no one could attack in that literal... It was only 50 turn, time units that it took to move next to the exit because I, I switched off uh, our last propulsion... Um, we were, yeah, under, underweight and, uh, could move at 50. 
So it, only, it was only half a turn move. Within half a turn, we were killed. If uh, there was just a tiny bit of time left after that, we could have moved out. Hey, Mers, you are too late. It was an exciting stream, but we're dead. Um, I could technically start a new one, considering it's still early yet, but and it's probably not really worth it, because I'd only, at the most, I'd have like an hour or so. Um, I, anyway, I expected to finish the run. It was pretty... Uh, relatively short as far as my runs go we were focused pretty hyper focused on heavies and stayed to the main complex most of the time okay uh, what do we have in here um build kills we killed three heavies across two factory heavies and we got one in the research later on not a whole lot of them but um but we came in and we encountered a, a few more than that. Start another 7 DRL for the next hour. Yeah, if we were going to do, if, I, if it was like an hour and a half, I'm, I might even just jump in and, and just do another quick run to find more heavies and fool around with them. But eh, let's do a quick DC run. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> beta eleven is done. When it's done, it's it's too big. It's uh, it's it's massive. There's a lot of stuff still to do with it as well. But after beta eleven, subsequent uh, betas will also uh, be able to happen more quickly because they won't be so sweeping. This one is revisiting everything. So, and adding stuff too, like with the heavies. But the heavies are really re kind of rebalancing the main complex a fair bit. But I'm liking it overall. But it'll also be interesting to see how newer players deal with things like heavies. I think uh, that'll be kind of a problem for newer players, to be honest. But anyway. Um, art stream talents. Show us your talents with paint. <laughs> no talents. I use, I use Photoshop. Um, I did use a lot of paint, though, when I was a kid. Good old Microsoft Paint on my mom's work computer when we had to go to her office and uh, just like had hours to sit there and do nothing. I'd make maps of from the video games I was playing and stuff like that. <laughs> and this paint good. Uh, anyway, I just, just can't, I don't know what else would be in here. What else is in here? I haven't actually looked at the new stats yet. We have new beta 11 stats that uh, for some of the, I mean, new stats for the newer mechanics like cargo convoy intercepts. Uh, we intercepted two, apparently. This one was a complete failure. This one, we actually... This is the first time I've actually benefited from a cargo convoy. <laughs> Completely. It was a really big mess, of an, an unexpected mess, I guess, as most convoys go. But we did manage to take four things from the convoy as we were running past for our lives <laughs> and, and put them to good use later. That was actually really useful. The overloadable... Uh, hover units we had there. Active scanning responses. This is from the uh, active. So this is one of the new, another new entry. This is for the uh, active sensor suite. This is the amount of times that they actually sent squads out because you were active scanning. So we didn't actually do that much because I kept it off most of the time um, until, we, and also we weren't using it for a very long period because uh, both times I tried to use it. Uh, our build wasn't in great shape and the, the situation went bad. And so I ended up throwing it away pretty quickly. Um, but I'm, I'm actually curious uh, to hear what people have to say about it. Uh, the, the new sensors and get, yeah, just to see how that's working out uh, there. I think they have the potential to be very good. They're, they're very different for one. They, they require kind of a different strategy, um, but they're also, they have the potential to be very good, but they're obviously they have a lot of drawbacks too. So, it makes them more niche automatically by default. Uh, it'd be easy for them to be too powerful based on what they can do. So I think they're pretty balanced, uh, in my opinion, right now, having used them a bit I mean, having designed them as I did, and then also even having used them for a bit. But I haven't used them for a long pe longer period, so it's harder for me to analyze that. Um, Remember T draw dot AC to make Anzai graphic animations. Now I didn't actually use that. In fact, I I I only used in terms of like uh, ASCII art and stuff type programs. I only used a few of the more modern ones. I got into it 
but not the old stuff. Uh, and which to be to be honest, I went in and researched some of the old stuff when I was working on Rex Paint, and it, I just found all of the interfaces really appalling, and it was amazing. Like why? Why haven't people updated these? And why are people still using these programs that are decades old and they suck? <laughs> um, there's just been so many advances, but people are just, you know, I mean, it's an old scene. So people are used to using their tools, right? And so you're less likely to upgrade. I mean, I guess I can't, I'm one to spot talk because I'm using a lot of very old tools myself. <laughs> but when I first found that kind of stuff, uh, those kinds of tools online, from, I was able to use some of the newer ones. Um, which didn't have a whole lot of features in the end themselves, and that's why I ended up making my own. But yeah, the old ones. <laughs> um, laziness, no, I, I don't know. I mean, people back then, they were pretty decent programs too, but they're just really old. So yeah, same people, same reason people still using TCOD ecosystem. Hey, LibTCOD is, is pretty awesome. I mean, it continues to get updates. And hex decimals always adding new stuff and uh, and making it modern. It's it's really nice. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't be. I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if not for LibDecod, to be honest, because it's what really got me interested in making this style of uh, roguelike. And you know, it's where I started. I started using LibDecod as well. So I'm not defending it because of that. I'm just saying. Uh, Indirectly, I'm saying as I'm not indirectly, as I'm objectively speaking, uh, as someone who's watched the development community and people and how they get into it, it's just it's been an amazing tool that uh, yeah, some people stick with, which is great if you're just interested in designing a game, but uh, and other people just use it as a stepping stone towards greater things. What's the name of the program? Uh, yeah, LibTCut. That's right. Uh, it's uh, it's a a library for an old game that was never released called TCOD. The Chronicles of Dorian. Uh, the developer made the library to make that game, but then ended up not making the game. Instead, released a bunch of demos and tech demos, and uh, and very small games instead. And we just worked on the on the, uh, the the library itself. And then after some years, they stopped working on it. But other developers have picked it up, um, especially over the past few years, and improved on it even further. So. <laughs> It has to say I'm using Unity because I have no idea how XML and Python works. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got something that they're uh, better at. I'm, I'm still using really old C++ because it works for me. Actually, it's kind of funny speaking about what works for me. There's a there's a thread right now on the Roguelike Dev subreddit uh, where people linked the uh, Door Fortress. Um, the Door Fortress dev, uh, you know, Tarn Adams, the Door Fortress development, like uh, history, kind of how it's developed. And so there's a thread uh, just linking to that and where people on uh, the roguelike dev sub where, where people are talking about it kind of interesting about how Tarn uses the, uh, you know, he doesn't use a version control system, or at least he just uses ar archives of back versions. And uh, yeah, I ended up, I ended up being called into that thread myself because I do the same thing. So I was, this morning when I got up, I was replying to some people in that thread. <laughs> you can go read the thread, Vectis. <laughs> No, I don't use version control. You can read all about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people know that. In fact, I was called into the thread by someone who, uh, who who knew that. One of the many people who now know that. But just don't exactly Jack Nine. Jack Nine knows. Just don't. Just don't write. Just don't don't add, don't add bugs. Don't mess with your code. Right. <laughs> don't make mistakes. No, it's not about that. It's about it has to do with other stuff. But you can read my reply into the in, in there as well. For the details, I'm not going to go into all that right now, but oh, I see. <laughs> oh, everybody told you to use Python. So is it okay? Looked at it for 40 minutes, before saying I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, 40 minutes is kind of short. I mean, everyone feels like they have no idea what they're doing for 40 minutes, right? I, I felt like that for probably 40 years, not 40 years, I, for a very long time. For years, I felt like I had no idea what I was doing. So many bugs, so many problems. Um, I wonder what else is new in this list. I've, I've got this open here for ever. What is, uh, uh, I don't, we're mainly looking at heavies. We're mainly looking at detection. That was under the alert section. I added these things to the alert because they're all kind of related to that. I didn't add a separate, what I was considering adding was a separate 
uh, entry for heavy called squads, but I ended up not doing that because technically it's, 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 it's reinforcement squads. So look at that. Look at this number here. That is a big one. Uh, 19 reinforcement squads. You know a lot of those were called by the heavies. Um, every heavy you attack is going to call at least one. And then, of course, there's others if you were hanging around the heavy for any length of time. But 19 total. Um, a lot of heavy stuff. Not all of them, again, come from heavies. We did see some dispatch from garrisons but or for, you know, just calling for help. But that's a higher number. I didn't have a separate entry for it, though, at the moment. Start a new run already? I wasn't planning on starting a new run. That's why we're just, like, chatting here. Um, just a, we could for the hell of it. Uh, um, where's my Steam account? Here we go. Boom, Steam. Uh, I'll, I'll start it up again. Fine. <laughs> Source control nice if you commit frequently, so you can roll back mistakes if you get a bug. Just compile often, though, and be fine without it. I think that might be another issue. That's something I never really thought about. Compile often, though, and be fine without it. See, my development, I didn't ever, I never brought that up in this context um, when, when I talk about version control because when I, the way I code and work on stuff is I will literally code one tiny little feature, immediately compile, test it, and I'm done with that. It's just done, um, which is probably a little bit different from how other people do it, especially if you compile, your compile times are long. My compile times are, are really short. Like I can pretty much compile Cogmine instantly. So um, I will I will change a single variable and compile it and test. <laughs> uh, I will change very few things per compile. I never really thought about it in that context. It's kind of interesting. Um, all right. Uh, I probably shouldn't put wheels on today. <laughs> We're gonna go faster. We're not gonna actually finish this run. I should probably pick this stuff up. All right. So yeah, random programmer chatting where he's done for now. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. Wait, you're going to slow me down? <laughs> okay. Speed run. Wait, what are those things? Train scan processors? No. Improved assault rifle 10 turns into the game. That's right. Uh, okay. This guy did report us. Oh, look at that. Hello there. Hello there, fellas. Oh, okay. Got reported by that guy, I'm sure. Whatever. The assault rifles are good. Explosive trap? Hmm, okay. You say so. Oh, what's all that? Oh, a storage unit. We found a storage unit. Uh oh. That explosive trap looks really suspect. Uh, anyway. Okay, good. Oh yeah, we're on wheels, right. Good. Okay. What's over here? Nothing. Let's go in here real quick. Oh, okay, we're gonna go back this way. Oh, it's a pack. Hit you eventually. Can't dodge forever. Seriously? They're gonna be around the corner, aren't they? Nope, we're lucky. Alright, where's the infested? Come on. There they are. <laughs> Run the other way! <laughs> Infestation it is. Fortunately, they're over there. And we're over here. They're coming awfully fast, though. Oh, shoot. It's a dead end. Uh-oh. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. Uh, you know what? Wait, do I have to get through walls? No. It's dumb. It's okay. The demos can click up. There's the demos.
Wow, did the demos die? Huh. The demos lost. Perfect. Oh. Hey, look, we have a demo. This guy, if we just follow him around and tell us if the demos are near. Oh, never mind. He found swarmers instead. Okay, never mind. Alright, there's swarmers over there. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this dead end, too? Shoot. It's okay. We'll kill them. You're gonna die. Quickly. A leg over there. No, just dead guys. Sure. Dead, dead, dead. Actually, I should grab that. For my wheel collection. What do you come Dynamically sizing? No, we're not going to make the inventory larger. Need a consistent uh, size for the inventory. Okay, you might not know about this since you just started playing, but you can get a full list of related parts by just doing this, and it shows all the parts in your inventory related to that slot. Um. So that's kind of an alternative, of, which is really useful. Oh, there's another new guy. Man, these two assault rifles are just awesome. Uh, Ripper. Oh, okay. Dude, they really, they killed them. Huh, they really did. Interesting. Okay, uh, random junk. Lots of random junk. I'm gonna go this way, because... Wow, there's a lot of dead stuff out here. The assemble just annihilated everything. Now they're all spread out though, so we don't have to fear them. There we go, finally. Oh, actually, we don't need that. Okay, here we go. Out we go. Okay, everything dies. Huh. Back in here. Nope. Oh, there are enemies. There are enemies down here. Okay. Oh, it's a little late now. Uh, it's just a sentry. Okay. And uh, something else. Watching our matter supply. Sorry, but you don't stand a chance. do what I just did there, which is swap back using the Y command, the combination of the uh, swap command and the Y. For this run, you need only one hack. Access main. <laughs> uh, replace the combat log with inventory 2. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, who needs the combat log, right? Whoops. Okay, we'll grab that too. Ow! Oh no, here we go. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> Luckily, there's only two. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh yeah, I forgot to attach my other stuff. Uh, I don't actually need a wheel, but wait a minute. Uh, technically, right here. Oh wait, okay, sure, I'll put a wheel on. Because we're going to throw on some armor. No, wait a minute. I don't want more armor. I actually want weapon shielding right now. Take that off. Take that on. Here we go. Reprogram the EMP trap. I actually don't want to do access main here. Because I already know where the exit is. No, oh, that hurt. Uh-oh. 
My lack of weapons is disturbing. Slots. Yeah, I intentionally normally what I would have done is not carried this many propulsion pieces, but I'm playing too quickly to even notice that I, I should have had more other parts. Um. Oops. Too much propulsion. That's the quick way to get your materials, though, is to use four weapon slots. Especially if you can have four weapons eventually anyway, right? Oh, this actually does put us overweight. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, throw on more wheels. Actually, it's not going to work once you do something else, but okay. We're out of weapons. Oh, hello there. Super easy to find the exits and materials, find stuff. Oh, I don't have. You know what? Let's try heat when we do this. Ooh, not very hot. Uh, one, one shot at least. All right, where are we? Uh, oh, center east. All right, away we go. I already know where the exit is. Stop that! Hey, <laughs> stop that! <laughs> No heat thinks at the moment. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Uh... <laughs> He's playing reckless and shutting up about doing a new run now. This isn't really being reckless, even. I am playing quickly, but not super reckless. This is. You can get through. If you play simply, you can get through, you know, if you use quick strategies, you can get through the first half of the game very, very quickly. Medium reactive play is kind of nice. Oh, hard and heavy armor. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want that one. Another wheel! Not even overweight at all. Uh, let me see here. Let's go. Uh, weapons. No. Um, one second here. Uh oh. Slow down. Oh wait. I don't have space for it. I kind of want to put it on, but there we go. Uh, what? Don't have access to high heat weapons later on. Uh, Nova cannons. Pretty hot. But I mean, that's part of the part of that. That's intentional. Due to the way stacking works, uh, if you want to, there's uh, the way the mechanics work in the game is if you want to be able to stack certain things, um, you're going to need to use mid-tier weapons if you want to have uh, that kind of ability. I love this. Uh Twenty-eight. Oops, that's not all of you.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Just making sure. Ouch, there goes the wheel. There goes the weapon shielding. Okay, well, weapon shielding did its job, right? Weapon shielding, good. <laughs> you guys are only having trouble with heat when stacking weapons because you're not destroying bots in a single volley. <laughs> That's the other thing. High power weapons already do tons of damage. Three rolls and a leg would look like <laughs> yes. Hard to imagine. Uh, oh look, we're in storage. Uh, okay, that was unexpected. What are these? Heavy deuterium engines. Uh, okay, sure. Storage. Now we can face the storage heavy. Maybe. Oh, never mind. There's a door terminal. Eat misses. Oh, you know what? I should probably put on my targeting computer. That helps. Improved spread laser? Oh, that's a good way to overheat. Oh, I don't know what this one is yet, though. Advanced beam cannon. Eh, kind of boring. They're pretty good, I guess, but... Heavy laser. Alright, let me see. Uh, I'll take one of those. Oh, wait, that's a beam cannon. I kind of want the spread laser. It's more fun. you now. Uh, these are improved treads. We're a little hot. <laughs> Just a little. Where's the heat sink? Where's the heat sink? Anybody have heat sink? There is one heat sink to the north of us. Okay, fine. I'll go get it. Also, I'm running out of matter. I should probably deal with that. right now. Also, I could have put on more armor, but I didn't. Get some reactive plating. There's a flat cannon over here. You make all the ambience and other sound effects yourself require them online. Uh, combination, you can check it out on my website. I actually did a whole series on my dev blog about how all the sound effects are made and how to make them. Basically, if you have a question about development, there's a good chance to answer it on the dev blog. Damn, those programmers too? Shoot, I was gonna go south, but I still wanna go south. You, 
need to die. Wait, do I just drop this? Stop hurting me. Okay, it's not worth going forward anymore. Why does this guy get down there? 200 matter sitting next to that guy? Whoa. We take, uh, we have here 15 matter per shot. We're gonna run out of matter before we kill this guy. Wow, it's gonna hurt. Well, there's a little bit in our inventory, but that's not really much. Think. <laughs> now there's an engineer in the way. Okay. Oh no, more guys. Damn it. Loving all these alarms. I'm not even paying attention to those. <laughs> Defensive maneuvers. Offensive maneuvers. Slam you to the wall. And kill you. Definitely had to slow down a little bit here though. Stupid heavy. He didn't even drop anything I needed either, did he? Just dropped his tread. This guy dropped treads. What else we got in here? Again, that was fun. All right. The exit down here just goes. Oh, no. Could have done another one, but let me get out of here. Oh, there's a lot of matter now. Waited long enough that those other guys left. Oh, so many seconds. It's not, this is uh, there's another one over there. <laughs> Storage for you. Turn on the black cannon for that one. Uh, matter is middling. Where are we? All right, bring it on. I see you up there. Long we didn't. Exit's getting close. I can easily get to research by just playing very fast. That's what I do with my test, but then I will probably die in research because I didn't optimize along the way. All those structural scanners are awesome, by the way. Unknown wheel. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye, guys.
That was just luck. Uh, Alright, I'll look at it real quick. I'm just curious. Always curious, nothing here. Okay, fine. Oh, dude, no. Uh, hmm, okay. Oh yeah, I have more, I can attach more stuff now. I probably could do that real quick. Uh, not a whole bunch more stuff though. Mm, heat sink seems like a good idea actually. Heat sink, and then more armor. We're making our own heat sink armor. Active cooling, oh shoot, I just lost one. <laughs> I got more where that came from. There's a garrison here. How dare you. I'm afraid of a garrison. Oh shoot, there's another sentry. Okay, I'm sort of afraid of a garrison. What is this guy doing here? Give me a machine analyzer. Alright, give me a machine analyzer. Wow, where's the garrison access? Thing is, with the right slots, you can more or less continue to just see steamroll things and build based on build from build up from what they drop now we're low on matter right now though considering we have uh, very few thermal things going where's the garrison now oh, that hurts hmm. shoot I don't get through the wall here uh, grenades Works 99% of the time. Recycling unit. Oh, shoot. Check it out. Give me the recycling unit. I'm gonna recycle all these guys. Give me your matter. Collecting. Gonna leave it on. Actually, wait. Do I have anything in my inventory to recycle? Let's recycle this, uh, something else. Let's recycle, uh, red laser. Um, recycle that old armor. Probably not gonna be worth much, but I'm just with two matter. <laughs> kind of fun. Uh, that's all we do for now. Obtaining the new sensors with this loadout will be hard. Oh, uh, I guess. I'm mainly just looking to take out new sentries. Oh, check this guy out. He's just sitting here. Program, that's why. Oh, wow, that's a lot of guys. That's what black cannons are for. Oh, shoot, I ran out of matter. <laughs> Damn it! This was perfect! <laughs> You're standing on my matter, dude. Oh, okay, that worked. Does that matter again? Yes, I do. Goodbye. Oh, I too. More matter. Okay, you penetrator. Thank you. Wave gun. I'll take that too. Anyone else? Nobody cares about two matter except when you desperately need to swap apart and you have 18 matter. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should move through all your runs as quickly as killing it. Yeah, but we're not going to get to do as much fun, interesting things, really. And the, this kind of run will always uh, generally go downhill in research because we're not really building towards it. What you can do is play this quickly. I just shot the wrong thing. Play this quickly and then hope to good stuff and research shoot get in the way. and then you can uh, uh, just immediately build a new build out of just what you find there but you have to get lucky and find that stuff uh, reclamation units that's all they had I see I see this guy was bringing relay couplers <laughs> interesting uh, security rotation alright gotcha 
target analyzer. All right. So, uh, cargo convoy as well. Wow. Security rotation and simultaneous cargo convoy. Okay. Uh, nothing I want in that. One. Nothing I want in that. One. And the exit. Uh, I'm gonna risk this real quick. We're in a dead end area. It looks like so. It's kind of worth looking for stuff real quick. Like there's a power source. Actually, I don't know what I need, but all right, we're done here. Into the caves. Oh no, out of the caves. <laughs> Can't this exit the off chance a yaller comes to it? That's an interesting idea. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Alright. Now they're away from that guy. Okay, you're not away away from him far enough. Why is that? Yeah, I need to get away from this guy. Stop! No! No! You shoot me. Someone else. Structural scanners and caves are very fun. Guess got spotted. Wonderful. All right, I don't know if I'm mad at or really worried about swapping this out, so we're gonna switch with this. At least it's a behemoth, not a heavy. <laughs> yeah, you can't meet heavies out here. All right, I guess I have to wait uh, here. Maybe we should have been north. All right, there we go. We're back. Uh oh, wait a minute. I don't have any propulsion left. It's gonna hurt a lot if I don't get this guy's propulsion. job. <laughs> it took a hit. Oh no, we were moving way too slow. Can I speed up? No, I can't. Shoot. Please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, I guess now... So, oh, that has gone too. We're moving way too slow to be able to pick stuff up efficiently. Alright, we need to switch to a different mode here. It's called grenade mode. Also, look at what else it can attach. Heat sinks, you don't need that. Okay, continuing on our journey where we have not enough matter. Scrap. Scrap has matter. 31 matter. Oh, what was it? Oh, heat shielding and field propulsion drive. No. Look how bad. Overweight treads. Yeah, we're overweight treads. Now we're overweight legs. Overweight legs are, I guess, some people still like them. I mean, which is nice. It's always nice when people still like stuff. Oh, God, where were you guys earlier? <laughs> Just lounging about while behemoths destroy everyone on the other side. Oh, God, no. <laughs> That's called moving too quickly. <laughs> oh, hump back and weapon shielding. Okay. Tractor beam, basic one, but hey, oh shoot. I don't want to mess with you guys. Um, never mind, I'm in grenade mode. You're gonna, you're gonna get it. Don't I have rockets as well? Eh, it's probably worth, not worth firing both. Wow, the second shot missed off to the... Oh no, it, it, re, it, it just picked a new target. I'm going to say it missed him and get that again, but no. No. Lost it. Alright, um, I'll accept the matter donations. Uh-oh. First, we're going to have to kill everyone else. Oh, shoot.
shooting, guys. Four. Then would probably more. Oh, what's in here? Open it up. A lot of hammers and a utility shielding. Actually, now that I think of it, oh, I don't even have. Uh, okay. I should. Oh wait, it's a different button now. <laughs> it just moved on me. Ran out of power. Uh, whoops! Forgot to touch power source. That would that would be a logical cause for running out of power. Uh, now I need to turn it back on again. Recycle all the things, and then turn it off before we forget. Send me your metal prowl link. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> send me your matter prowl link. Right. Okay, we're gonna continue here. Uh, no exit. Uh, oh, you know what I forgot? Propulsion. I'm literally about to run out of propulsion. Can I get some propulsion? Uh, one option for propulsion is to literally throw grenades inside that outpost, but that seems like a not effect, not a great solution. Oh, I know exactly where we can get some propulsion. Back over here. Eventually. Wait a minute. Did I not pass through this? I went the back way earlier, didn't I? Oh, there's some scrap. Kind of dangerous running back over here, but... Yeah, that's too dangerous. But, uh, I'm not gonna bother. No, well, it's... Where were they? They were down there. Wait, how come... He, I must have passed by and didn't spot me. Hmm. Go the other way. Oh, look at this guy. He's got propulsion. Stop! No propulsion was had. These guys are not a very reliable source of propulsion. Especially when you chop the treads off. Completely obliterate them. A lot of matter though, full on matter. It's always a good thing. Oh, hello guys. Found some propulsion. <laughs> Just ripped right through those guys. Uh, what about ex? Explosive knockback sounds fun. Yeah, it's one of those things that sounds fun. Then, of course, everybody thinks of it. Uh, yes, uh, certainly considered it early, early on, but uh, it's, uh, it doesn't actually work well. Um, well, I mean, it's it'd be rather unbalancing. That would be a way to nerf explosives, basically. Well, it could be a nerf. It's a nerf in some ways, a buff in others, and then it universally changes all the way you manage uh, explosives. It become a, a real issue. Because then you displace the enemies you're trying to kill with explosives, and then they, uh, then you can't. Your explosives suddenly become a lot less effective. So yeah, it's a nerf in some ways, a buff in others. It ended up to me, design-wise, I think it ends up being very annoying. So it did definitely seem worth it. Anyway, all right, we got some prop, prop now. That's what I was wanting to see if I could do is wake this guy up. <laughs> now that we have propulsion. <laughs> You know what I have? Lots and lots of matter. Seriously? Oh, I forgot that was on.
Oops, I have a ripper on. <laughs> Ooh, my bad. Sorry, dude. Oh, wait a minute. We want four seal. I'll take that. Mainly because we have some new friends. Recycle the humpback. Take our new friends who aren't going to be very useful. This way. You're hacking that. <laughs> Good point, Jack Knight. You're hacking that guy the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I used my, my hacker on that guy. Wrong type of hack. Alright, we're in the second cave. Uh, we're just going to go back. see to it that we never run out of propulsion again. That was a mispress. A highly repeated mispress. <laughs> I completely didn't have my ripper on and I smashed myself into the wall. Okay, I meant to do something else there, clearly. It's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine because we have a wheel. I think we just did that. Uh, not focused enough. That's right. I can shield these guys. Sort of. Alright, well, we got them because they were shielded. Wheels it is. Pulsion of the gods. He's using energy. Oh, really? Oh, it's because I just used all of them. I'm shielding these guys. <laughs> uh. I can't imagine actually using her cannon. <laughs> That's right, Jack Nine. Slave it at the wall of her. <laughs> Cogwine's version of the Let Me In meme. Yeah, really. For sure. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy. Probably, probably not cool. More wheels. Because you can always use more wheels. all my junk. Wait a minute, why are you carrying these? He's carrying prototypes from, did some hauler die or something? How is this guy carrying around all these good prototypes? Oops, I forgot to actually put on. Genius move. That's why you're using the plus to the prop. Improved kin accelerator. Thank you. Well, actually, I don't quite have as many things as I thought I did for that, but maybe I can add some more. We're doing fine in the matter department, so let's do that. Uh, I guess technically what we sort of want... Maybe assault's not great anymore, but... Anyway, what we sort of want now is the uh, matter filter. Definitely. All right, I'm going to check the corner real quick. Large storage. Found a friend. Oh, sweet. 
critical hit destroyed. Yeah, just pick up a little matter in here. I'm gonna also replace my uh, storage unit. Drop the other one. We don't actually need to sneak around. I'm just checking these quarter rooms because we're in the corner of the map. It's obviously, we need no enemies around. Oh, I'm well, okay. There's going to be some sentries. There, but there's no patrol, which is the bigger issue. All right, you know what? I didn't do that. I should just let this go. Oh, there's the axe. He dropped his axe. Yeah, the analysis. Hmm. Tried to run away from me. I wanted to do deals, but didn't have any. It didn't work out as planned. Ambush trap. All right, we're gonna stay away from that. Stone treads. Two slot treads. Oh, they're now known treads. They're known two slot treads. I'm liking the speed. Otherwise, technically, I should really put on three of these. But we're going. This. We're going about this a little bit like rotation time. Okay. Oh, whoops, I didn't need to do that. Right, I forgot. I knew there was a way up. Cargo convoy. Oh, wow. All right, our aim is kind of sucking. That's for sure. A lot. <laughs> I don't have any targets at all. Too many weapons. This many kinetics without targeting, we'll do that. And it seems like a pretty bad place to walk through. I lost all my AOE weapons. I want to throw this right in. Sure, picking the wrong thing. Gonna totally blow all these guys up in a second. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Never mind. More snakes right here. Go this way. Antimatter can lift those guys out of existence. <laughs> wow, there's a triangle emote now. Looks like he finally forced the triangle meme into reality. Yes, I. Uh, well, I mean, it always ha already has been in Discord. People have been using it. We've just been using the one that just one of the random tri the red triangle. But uh, I did finally get around to adding some actual uh, actual new emotes to the. Uh, this, the, the, sub, uh, the, the, the channel this week, uh, early after last week's stream, we'll put that stuff together. So we have a number of new ones. Pull around. There. Warning! Local garrison action. Oh, there 
Sure. Also, I'm just going to kill this Alright, now we know where it is. Alright, I'm just going to kill all these guys. Power. The power. Oh, wait, they're all lined up. I was going to switch weapons, but it makes more sense to fire right now. Uh, because they're lined up, which means you can hit the first one, and if you're lucky, you'll blast right through and hit the second too. Like that. Took some extra damage. Uh, otherwise, I wanted to switch because there's more than one enemy. I was going to switch out the Force Lance and uh, ha attack with a bigger volley. But it made more sense to do it that way. There's a behemoth in the middle. <laughs> hey, Vectus. <laughs> With the triangles, yes. Um, all right, there's a behemoth. I think we've established that now. This is the wrong weapons to be using against these guys. Oh, I got 300 energy. Damn, I don't have any spare energy. Because honestly, it'd be really good to use the hurt cannons against them. We can start with the hurt cannons, maybe. See how it works out. Worked out pretty well, actually. <laughs> I don't even have enough fire time to. I don't have enough energy to fire that tool more than once. Very impressive. The cost of hurt. Very powerful, though. My over leg. Are you kidding me? That behemoth is coming all the way over here. I, I'm not actually. Hmm, I probably should have found a better place to hide. <laughs> He's actually coming over here. Oh, this is impressive. Okay, fine. There we go. I'm actually gonna kill you. Sorry, kill you. Just wait. Oh, let's think of it. Go into siege mode for this. Can you just like destroy that? Coil gun sitting over here. Wait a minute. Uh, wait. What? I have another coil gun, right? Do I have anything else to put in this slot? Matter compressor, matter pod. Wow, you they got a lot of matter in our inventory. I'm not gonna run out of matter. Well, we are gonna. Okay, we have power source too. I think we're in good shape. All right, let's kill this guy. Oh no! It's siege on siege. Who is the better sieger? Us. I got more weapons than you do. <laughs> All right, uh, good. Coolant injector. Uh, I already have a decent coolant injector, and we're not hot ever, so. Might as well leave one of ours a heat sink. You don't always want to have both. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. That's from the other dude. I was going to say all this stuff's corrupted. You already got further than the previous run? No, the previous run made it further than this. We were already up in research. Hey, GJ. Yeah, we're speed running it. I'm not only that, but I'm speed running like destruction. <laughs> Destructive force. Um, let's see, I need that. My armor leg. Sure, I'll put a my armor leg in that spot. <laughs> That's a GJ pace, you can get three hours plus plus. <laughs> yep, just racing through. Ow. Okay, fine. Stop that. Oh, okay, I didn't really... Oh, no, I don't have a launcher. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no launcher. Um, uh, hmm. Two options, one is siege mode, the other... Could have done first, but the other option actually, I probably didn't take either of the options I was thinking. Funny. Ow. Uh, 
Oh, wow, that actually hurt a lot. <laughs> I guess because I don't have any coverage. Let's just open another one more round. And then there's another one down there to open. I knew it! Pretty good at doing that. Garrison at once. Don't normally do this. This is not the way to attack the garrison. Is there something under me? No. Okay, good. Oh, oh here comes more squads. If I need to move, the time to do it is now. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, let's put on a gas cannon. Put on a cannon. Drop a matter pod. And continue to kill things. Oh, this guy's not dead yet. One guy for Bully. These guys are a little further away. Oh, that actually worked out. Well. Almost. Hey, wait. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he ran away because he blew off his gun, maybe. Didn't see him die. Knocked him back. Oh, is he coming back? No, he's not coming back, though. Oh, well. This is why you cool use coolant injectors instead of heatsink armor? Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. I thought you were in A? No, no, we're not. Oh, you thought we were in Axis? No, no, Axis would be... Oh, you mean Armory. A is an Armory, guys. Yes, sorry. Um, no, no. Yeah, it's, I just dove into a garrison. Okay. Oh, there he is still over there. Shoot. Um, oh, I, I can't move now. Uh, I don't know where he is. Alright, now I see where I'm... No, there's more of them already. God damn it. <laughs> that is not good. Wait, I don't need power source. That's the next thing I need here. Light nuclear core? No. Light nuclear core? Yes. Oh, shoot, I don't have the energy to fire this thing right. Shoot. I wanted to get off one shot, but I, mm, if I could get off a Hearth Cannon, I might be able to blow one of their engines. Actually, what's the chance on that? Um, oh, 10%. Never mind, it's not a good chance anyway. Would be unlikely to have succeeded with that goal. Okay then, fine. I'm more likely to kill each other than I am to kill them. Attacking and backing away. Uh, what else could I do here? <laughs> hey, bad emperor. Oh, yeah, nice build. It's a nice leg build, yeah. It could have worked better. I'm surprised there was another squad there because I destroyed, like, literally, I destroyed the behemoth and a whole bunch of the squads, but, like, the entire garrison is coming out here because I did it all in the open. This must have been one of the patrols that was on the far side that decided to come through at that exact moment. When I used Shift Alt P to go naked, and uh, what I was gonna do is just quickly grab legs, grab some power after that, and then start rearming because there's stuff all over the place. Um, but right now, 257 core. Yeah, if I, I can't attach weapon armor now because I can't move. Uh, if I have it on, it would be too slow. So technically, it's possible still to get out of this. It's not exactly that bad. There's just a few of these guys, but. Uh, the easiest way would be to grab this prop armor. And then... What else would you do here? 
There's no more, really much more. There's no other decent prop armor around. This only has almost no integrity left to it. Plasma rifle, electro laser, auto gun. And technically, I compare the auto. Actually, these guys are. No, they're not that hurt. Just one guy's damaged. The auto gun is pretty good. Put on the kinetic right after getting shot. I wasn't sure what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, Bad Emperor. In your inventory, right. But it couldn't attach that because you couldn't move. Um, so we, you have to leave that off. Uh, we have a power source to run stuff. Uh, could run for an exit too, but no, not with it anymore. Not anymore. It's too late to do that. We look at the swarmers here. Literally, almost everything else is dead. What? Stand on the kinetic. What, what kinetic? What do you mean kinetic? What is kinetic? I don't know what you mean. Stand on the kinetic? Then equip auto guns so it doesn't shot immediately? Um, but yeah, the auto gun is... Huh? Yeah, this is the gun I wanted to go for, the auto gun here. But I don't know what you mean by stand on... Oh, stand up the kinetic and equip her. Oh, I didn't see you say equip her. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Right, that's what that's what I was gonna do here. Um, uh, the herf will uh, actually, oh yeah, the herf is the best thing we've got to shield it, and then we can turn that off and then fire the auto gun. Maybe if we get lucky. All right, we disarm that guy, and then we just have to get lucky with the others too. the her first beam caster put that on too actually we can fire the beam caster at the same time all right well <laughs> there's probably no patrols left oh shoot i heard that there's a patrol still <laughs> okay uh well then what do i got moving at 150 and do that to 120. funny Oh, never mind. It's just him. It's probably fine. The guy. It's the, the enemies are probably all dead. But I gotta kind of rebuild here or something. Wait a minute. What? Oh, it's corrupted. Screw that. I care about a little bit of corruption. Antimatter reactor. Corrupted. All right. Now we can put on our storage unit again. Be a little overweight. That's okay. Interior compromised. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm the one compromising it. Activate the flight. Uh, we're a little heavy for that. I think you mean earlier without the storage, but even then our support was, I'm picking up all this stuff around here. So I don't think it would really work in the long run here. But yeah, I was going back for the other leg up there. Something I didn't have an opportunity to do earlier. Kind of funny, we're using a beam caster there. Derelict weaponry. Alright. Oh, there's another anti matter reactor. Wait, who, what? Oh, there's a misfire, I was gonna say. Somehow this is one was firing at us here. Oh, found the other squad. <laughs> I had to wait a turn for them to get closer. Place our VTOL module armor, all of it. <laughs> Get another auto gun. Pr 
pretty crazy. Steam wrench pre <laughs> Did you actually check it, Vectus? <laughs> Steam wrench presence status fine. Uh huh. All right, here we go. I have to get that stuck out of here. Pretty funny. I just came in here kind of as a quick way. You're just guessing. Oh, eh, probably not. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> wow. Any 4W build with full weapon slots is at least fine. Yeah, it's decent. We ended up in extension? <laughs> We're in 186 core. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh shoot. Damn it. Man, I had some more powerful weapons earlier and I got nothing. Auto guns and plasma rifles. We're like, uh, we're grunt. We're at half grunt, half swarmer right now, literally. Half grunt, half swarmer. Love it. Oh, there's a matter neutralizer that will change things a bit. Uh, I don't want that. Never mind. Um, Or covered, which obviously I'm not doing right now. Heat sink armor! Oh, need a power source. One, one. Oh, damn. Oh, shoot. Okay. Just regular patrol. Alright, I'm gonna go down on this map. It's a good time. It's about to get to lunch. End of stream. Soon ish. Oh, we're still in these mode. Of course we are. An assault is going to show up in a moment, I bet, huh? All according to plan, yes. Uh, is that an engineer coming? Okay, no. The assault is going to suck? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Three swordsmen. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> One more turn, but it's not probably worth waiting. Wow, oh, he destroyed both of his legs. He didn't even like, put them off, pull them off. Okay. 
Thought about attacking the hauler. Are you even likely to get through the middle stairs to research? Mm, probably not, but that's what we're gonna end with. <laughs> you can tell where I'm going now, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> Chances are slim, but it's gotta be about the end anyway, so. Chances are very slim. Just see how lucky we can get, basically. I don't see how we can get that lucky, but. where that would put us in terms of movement speed and support. 15% exposed. Oh, almost getting there. Oh, now we're dead. Ah, uh, come on. Miss me, miss me. Oh shoot, it's gone. <laughs> that was the perfect ending though. That was the perfect ending. Racing for the door in the middle and they miss me and destroy the terminal so there's no way to open the door anymore. <laughs> so that was a speed run. Oh, anyway. Actually managed to even take out a heavy on it too. Did, did manage to see and get one more of those guys on the way out. But yeah, just fooling around and playing real quick since there was some time left people wanted to play again door percent <laughs> there you go that was the encore there was an there was an encore quick run we made six evolutions and got up to eh, 11 and a half thousand that's literally that's that's two-thirds of the score we just had at uh, uh in the previous run which took you know a stream and a half but anyway there you go that was amusing at the end <laughs> i like how we destroyed it fly you fool yeah uh it would have been hard to do that or what i could have done nah either, we're gonna die either way i mean with that little core uh you, it might have increased our chances of survival from like 10 percent to 11 percent or whatever and could have maybe for example earlier on done a shift alt p and maybe you'd have some flight units left in inventory to to slap on in the random selection of stuff that was left and then turn them on but and this time I spent attaching them probably ended up not being worth it too. Uh, not much going to be much faster than hover, and they're just going to start blowing them off anyway. So eh, worked out. Uh, worked out in that it was uh, uh, fun and you get to see, or people could check out a, a faster early game. But uh, yeah, that, that that kind of play style doesn't really cut it for the latter half of the game. That's when you need to slow down and start paying attention to what you're doing. But if once you get the basic mechanics down, well, and I don't know, like some decent tactics and whatever, there's uh, you can get through the first half pretty easy by just winging it. Especially if you go start with four weapon slots. It just becomes even easier just slicing through everything. Like butter. All right. <laughs> Lightning to see factory winged. Well, half of that was also luck finding the exits but it wouldn't have mattered really you can you can you're still using the same tactics get out of uh factory pretty quickly um kind of knowing you know hugging the edges of maps and knowing generally the areas exits might be uh and with hacking obviously you could speed it up a little more but i wasn't even bothering with that just seeing what we'd come across 
Anyway, all right, so time for lunch. Next stream will be, uh, I guess, getting back to, yet again, 70 RLs next week. And uh, we're done with this heavy run. So, uh, again, for anyone who didn't see the announcement, there is this newer build with some tweaks and fixes um, for X6 uh, beta 11. Um, but, yeah, now that i finished this run, there's still other stuff to take care of. These, these weeks are really busy with other non cogmine stuff and all the... The roguelike dev stuff going on, the 70 year old playing is eating up extra time, which is kind of annoying. I, I want to end it sooner or before too long, actually. So, I'm going to next stream, we'll probably be covering even more games faster. Plus, it'll probably be a full length, we'll see, and uh, get through that more quickly. So, it stops eating up so much time so that I can work on the next actual release. Um, so, until then, also, I'd like to hear more input on the new active sensors. Uh, only gotten a small amount of that so far, but um, yeah, they haven't exactly been out all that long either, or jive with everyone's play style, so might have to wait a little bit on that. So anyway, yeah, off for lunch. Thanks everyone for showing up. Uh, interesting, <laughs> uh, fun, heavy run, an interesting speed run afterward. Haven't done that for a while, so uh, see y'all later. <laughs>